What's up, YouTube? Happy Labor Day. I don't have a video to post, but I do have something special for the channel. It is a best of emergency Monday marathon. I hope you guys enjoy. Have a safe and happy Labor Day, and I'll catch you next time. Peace. what is up everyone welcome back to the channel we're back at it with more emerge nyc and i enjoyed the hazmat call so much the other day in manhattan we're going to be doing that again today we're going to be doing nothing but hazmat um i think the first call is going to be a huge one like we're going to bring all kind of people uh you know uh, nypd uh, ems uh, fire everyone we're just going to have one big huge response uh if we can get another call in after that we'll try that as well too but we're going to at least do the uh one big call so anyway let's go ahead and get the menu pulled up we'll force this uh no we don't want to respond to a water leak let me get my there we go get my cursor up for a second there uh let's go to the call menu and let's see what we can do uh you know i'm kind of thinking the overturned truck we did this one last time we've got one two three four more that we could do in addition to the one we did the other day let's do the overturn truck let's do that so let's go back to the mdt of course they're going to call squad out so uh the main uh squad unit and the second piece will both show up so we got engine 30 engine 78 engine 31 ladder 75 tower ladder 57 battalion 5 squad 28 uh, we're going to be showing up. Fuel truck overturned. Okay, so uh, let's pull this back down. And uh, let's pull you back up. There we go. Let's see. What did it say? Engine 30, right? Engine 30. I want to try to get some old school units in for this again. So some of these will drive. Some we may AI. We may do a mix of both. Um, Actually, you know what? Let's do this. Before we even do fire... Let's do uh, NYPD, right? Let's do that. Let's see. What do we got? I don't know what these cars are. Like, the names completely trip me up. Uh, the Fortis Discoverer, maybe? I don't know what that is. I can't remember. We'll find out shortly here. There it is. Explorer 2. I guess it's going to be an SUV? Yes. Okay. All right. Let's hop in this guy. And we'll get headed that way. I've had people all the time saying, wish you'd do more NYPD stuff. We try, like, within the realm of what we can do, which is not a lot. It's not, it's really just not a lot. So, it's going to be way over there. Okay, let's pull you back down. And let's get the engine and parking brake off. Let's get some lights going here. And we'll head that way. Let's say we got a uh, report of an accident, right? Like a car wreck or something, so... There we go. We'll roll this way. Let's turn this down a little bit. There we go. Yeah, I, uh, I opened up Emerging YC today, and for whatever reason, my sound was off. It was really, really odd. I've never had that happen before, but it was turned all the way down, though I haven't done it. I haven't messed with the sound in ages. I always turn it down on my desktop. Like, I never mess, uh, never mess with the in-game sound, but for whatever reason, it did that today. All right, let's keep going. The fuel truck overturned. I, I, I'm kind of disappointed it said fuel truck, though. I was going to say something like uh, aerosol anthrax or something, but <laughs> no, that's not a thing. It's not a thing. At least I hope not. That would be really bad. But either way, I was hoping it would be something like really super bad. And it's not. Let's see. What do we got here? Should be just right over here, right? Uh, Yes, there he is. Okay. All right, let's uh, let's see. Let's block the road off. You know what? Let's turn around. We're going to turn around on this road here, and we're going to block it off down here at the intersection. We'll do that right here. Like you people's got to go somewhere else. You can't go this way, you guys. Road's closed. All right. Uh, who else we got? What else can we do? We got a few more streets. I think that's an off-ramp right here, right? And then an off-ramp. I don't know why uh, the Postal Service is hanging out down there by the wreck, too. So, 
All right, let's go back. Let's uh, let's go back to another units. And let's get, uh, we'll do the Fortis Vision. I don't know what that is either, but we'll see. All right, pull F2 back up. Fortis Vision. Uh, unmarked car. Nice. Okay, very slick. It's a slick top, right? It's slick. Here we go. All right, let's see. How could we do this? Let's see, how could we do this, guys? We need to get on, uh, I guess that's the FDR, right? Let's see, how could we do this? Uh, well, we'll keep going down, and then I guess we'll have to go back, uh, back to the left. Let's see, we'll keep going, yeah, we'll keep going and then we'll make a, uh, if we can make a left up here, I don't know if we can, that's the FDR, okay. I think we may have to run the wrong way. Hey, y'all stop, stop, what are you doing? They, they always want to stop right in front of you, right? Like, it never fails, they always want to do that right in front. Oh, okay, we'll just hop on, yeah, never mind, we'll just hop on. We'll hop on right here. I think this is on ramp, right? Yeah. We'll hop on here and we'll go down and jump right back off. We'll block that ramp. That's it. Y'all get out of the way. Y'all, that's the serious, the serious siren. The, the don't play, it's really bad kind of siren. Here we go. I think this is it right here, right? Yes, it is. So we'll block this off. I don't want someone to take the guardrail out. There we go. Okay, we got this blocked. I wonder, do they have any stuff in the trunk? Is there anything we could do? Like, is there any equipment on these? Is there anything? Uh, traffic cones. Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll try that, maybe. Let's see. I never can get them to drop right. It never fails. They always land on their side. I can't ever. If you guys know how to manipulate the traffic cones, let me know. I don't have a clue. They always wind up like that. They always do. Okay, so we've got a police response. I think both the main roads are closed that go into it. So let's do... Uh, um, I don't know. Who else could we do from the, the, not the FDNY, the NYPD? What else could we do? Uh, we got the crime scene unit. I don't know if the crime scene unit would go to that. ESU, yes. ESU, let's do him. I think he would definitely go to that. There we go. I need to try AIing these guys sometime. I've never done that with the police. I don't know if that's even a thing or not. All right, engine park rate lights. Nice, I like this truck a lot. It looks good. I don't ever take it out. There we go, do a little rumbler action on this one. Oh, nice, it sounds really good, right? Let's go down, uh, let's go down Broadway. That would be cool. We'll go down through uh, Times Square. And I think we need to go back. Go back this way to the left. They don't have enough calls in Times Square, right? Like they should have more stuff. Really, they should have like a lot more. Uh, I would love to, or I don't say, I mean, they can have what they want. I don't want to, I don't want to come off that way. They have what they want. But I would love to see uh, a lot more hazmat stuff in game because it just seems like uh, the FDNY is seeing a lot more hazmat calls anyway just due to like batteries from uh, electric scooters and uh, bikes and things like that. Like it's all the time you're seeing some of these guys that I follow on YouTube that do that cover the uh, FDNY calls and it seems like they're all the time posting videos now of like uh, uh, the battery, battery fires. Every time you turn around, it's a battery fire, you know? So, um, 
Yeah, I think uh, more calls. Like, they could do a whole lot more with this. Why? That's what I say. Why are there cars down here? There we go. Nice. Okay. There's tons of cars down there. Where are they coming from? Like, I don't know where these dudes are coming from. I'm like, you people, you guys, y'all need to get out of here. <laughs> it's bad. We got a truck flipped over with fuel on it. Supposedly it's fuels, but we don't know. We could have some fires. We could have some anthraxes down there. We don't know, guys. Y'all need to get out of here. Uh, let's see. Man, this dude, his stamina sucks. Holy crap, his stamina is so bad. Where are they coming from? Because I've got the road blocked up there, right? I do, but they're sp oh, they're spawning in. Okay, they're spawning and dropping down. Okay, well, we need to fix that then. We need to fix that. We need to clean the. We need to clear the entire scene off. You know, we can't have no peoples down here. You crazy guys. Let's see. Um, what can we do? What can we do this time? We've done ESU truck. Let's do. Uh, I don't know. Let's do a dredge. I really, I don't know what these are. I don't know the names. Obviously, the names have been changed. Okay, it's going to be a charger. They've been kind of changed a little bit. All right, let's get in. Parking brake lights. All the police. We're all leaving out the same, this is the same parking lot. <laughs> we're all leaving from the same spot. They're hanging out there having coffee. There we go. All right. Man, they really like that. <laughs> they really respond to that one siren. Let's go down here. We'll go down to Broadway again. Uh, do we do we turn here? I can't remember. No, we're going down. We're going down. It's a huge. It's a huge response. It's a big crisis. Got all kind of stuff going on. Bring some ambulances, dude. I think this may be just one call today. I think we may just do one big, huge call. You can do that with the hazmat stuff. You can get away with it because you don't have the fire uh, taxing your system. So you can devote more of your uh, system resources to like equipment and stuff like that versus uh, having to share it with a fire. So we'll do that. These you guys, why y'all? <laughs> why you keep spawning in down here? All right, we got to get over here and close this road off. This ramp, they keep like they keep bypassing our. There we go. Actually, we'll go up a little further. I don't know if they want to be that close to a, a possible hazmat scene. We'll back them up a little bit here. Old zero 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 quad zero car. Oh, whoa, 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 he's wanting to roll on me. Let's hit the parking brake. Never mind, the parking brake evidently does not work. You gonna stop? I set the parking brake, he was still moving. Okay, we're good here. Now, let's start getting some uh, fire here. I think engine 30 was uh, first due, right? You guys have to bear with me. Pretend that all this is happening at the same time. Like, in a, within seconds of each other. Engine 30, where are you at? The uh, engine 30 spare, yes. We roll in old school, guys. You know, that's what uh, that's what I prefer is the old school stuff. Big fan of it. Here we go. Engine 30. All right, let's hop in. Uh, lights, engine, parking brake. It's where it gets a do-over on this because I completely jacked that up going the wrong way when I started out. So we're going to go the other way. I'm not running all the way down there against the grain of traffic. That is not going to happen. There you go. Get the door. <laughs> All right, mate. Yeah, we'll go down Fifth Avenue. Man, traffic is heavy. That's it's wild how heavy it is today. Let's go uh, first person here. Mm. 
Nice, I like this view. Feels like we're in warp speed, right? There we go. All right, I think we're getting close, right? Got to get down here to these hazmats. Get them cleaned up. We all know the job itself will be very anticlimactic, but the arrival is going to be awesome. In the scene. The arrival in the scene is going to be great, but... The cleanup is extremely anticlimactic, but that's just that's just how it is. Not much we can do about that. All right, y'all get out of the way. Right, let's see where would we. There's still cars here. What do I have to do to get these people out of this scene? Like. <laughs> It's bad. All right, let's see. How far down would we go for this? Like, how close would they let them go? I know it depends on the wind and all that. Oh, they're getting off on the other ramp and coming down that way. I see now. Okay, okay. Well, we're gonna have to fix that as well. I don't see. I don't see a hydrant down here. All right, let's hop out. What do we got? Uh, we got our lights going. Nice. Okay. That's what they're doing. They're hopping off on the other ramp over there. Oh, we can't get too close. Yeah, we need to close that off as well. Like, we got to do something about that. All right, let's go back. Uh, who else we got? I think uh, 75 spare needs to show up for this, right? Hitting the wrong thing there. Uh, ladder 75. Yeah, let's do 75 spare. Some of these other guys will start AIing in here. Let's see, 75 spare, uh, 78, 57, where are you at? 75 spare, there we go. All right, he's good. Who else do we have? Uh, 78, 31, and tower ladder 57, and then the squad units too. So 78, 31, tower ladder 57. Let's do 78. Where you at? 78, 78, where are you? I went by him. Yeah, there we go. 78 spare. And I think it said 31. Yeah, 31 old. Yes, yes, yes. Gotta have 31 old. Anything with old on it, I'm all about. 31 old and uh, tower ladder 57. 57 old as well. Man, today's our lucky day, right? All right, 57, we'll AI here. Let's zoom out just a tad. 57, we'll pull in. Yeah, we'll put him right here. We'll put him there and we'll do uh, 78. I think that's the same house, right? We'll put 78 down here on the hydrants. There we go, and who else we got? Is there a hydrant down here? We're going to need a hydrant to do our uh, decontent, and I do not see a hydrant anywhere. Yeah, I believe so. I think we're going to have to run all the way down there from seven. Okay, well, that'll work. We'll we'll make that work. We'll make that work. All right, so we got 78 in here, so we need uh, 31. We need 31 in here as well, too. We'll put him down here. And now we need the squad stuff. Okay. Let's hop on squad while these other guys... Actually, let's bring 75. We'll bring Tiller 75 first. No, we spawned in the building. <laughs> we spawned in the room. Nice. Um... Uh, yeah, I want to hand drive this guy because sometimes uh, tiller ladders, their response AI wise is a little bit, a um, little bit weird. And you see some weirdness in it. Like I've had them uh, roll up on the scene and flip over on their side or just, 
Uh, they're just so happy to be there. It's like a dog, you know, what a dog's happy to see and he comes running up and he just flips over on his side. It's kind of like that. They do that. <laughs> they just flip over on their side. All right. Um, let's see. We need to go back to the left. I can see. I have to zoom out on this bad boy. This is a big one. Whoa, what are you doing? Why are you doing that? All right, let's swing our butt around there. If we can do that. There we go. This one is this one is a handful between the siren and we'll do it that way. We'll do it automatic. That way I can devote a little bit of time to the uh, tiller here. Yep, y'all get out of the way. Get up on the sidewalk, guys. So far, they're clearing pretty good. They're not too crazy about it. All right, let's change lanes here. Let's drift over. Oh, I love the drifting. That's so cool. A little laggy. Got the lags. Got a case of the lags there. Just, just a tad. All right, let's get back over here. There we go. Nice. Oh, she's a handful. So for you, uh, for those of you that uh, don't play this or are not familiar with it, you use the uh, X and the C key on your keyboard to uh, do the tiller part. So. That's it. Y'all clear the way. Y'all do it. <laughs> he made a U-turn. Nice. How did that trunk open up on the uh, Explorer? I don't remember doing that, but... Okay, y'all get out of the way. We're going to have to block that off. These guys are getting to be a pain in the butt. There we go. Nice. All right, we're parked here. Um, let's go ahead and let's bring the squads. We'll jump in them real quick. We'll bring uh, two eight and the second piece as well, so we can get to work on that. And we need to, you know what? Actually, let's go ahead and block off that other uh, ramp. Let's do uh, a, a Tierra Victor, whatever that is. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see though. Where are you at? Uh, this is going to be a good old Crown Vic. Nice. Okay, this is going to be the uh, granddaddy of police cars, right? Alright, let's see. Engine lights and parking brake off. Alright, now we can go. Out of the same uh, police hangout. <laughs> they all like to hang out there. Alright, on this one we need to go down. We need to go jump on the FDR northbound. We need to jump on the FDR northbound and then jump off on that um on that exit, on that off ramp. Sorry, I'm trying to concentrate on driving and doing sirens and everything else. It gets complicated after a while. Let's see, we'll go back. I think we can go back to the left. And then down another block and to the right, maybe. And then... Alright, we should be... Is this the ramp? I don't know. Is this the ramp right here? Yes, it is. This is the ramp. This is our ramp right here. No, don't clear that way. No, it's supposed to be closed. There we go. Finally made it. That took a lot of work to get this closed off right here. It, 
<laughs> it really just did. Okay, now we're good for the squad stuff. Let's bring some squad stuff. I don't know what this view is about right here, but we're going to disregard that. If it's going to let me go... Oh, it stuck me outside. Never mind. Let's go uh, squad second piece because... Where we're parked at is forcing us to uh, spawn inside or outside the building. All right, let's get into our turnout gear. This is a squad episode, but you're only going to see the squad briefly. <laughs> you're only going to see them a little bit. Oh, I'm so close. I can't even. Uh, this has been like the most frustrating day ever, guys. Like seriously, nothing is wanted to. Can we go back this way? Maybe. I hope that worked. We'll see. There we go. Yeah, we're just a little bit close. A little bit close on that side there. All right, let's go uh, squad two eight first unit. It's getting a bit laggy. I think uh, this is going to be it for the equipment, guys. Like we, well, we gotta bring some ambulances too. We have to do that. No, no, no. Oh, well, we caught him a little bit. So we got to go down and then back up on this one. I guess we're kind of like in uh, lower Manhattan, maybe. So Fifth Avenue is not the way to go. We need to jump on Sixth and go up. All right, looks like 42nd Street here. Maybe not this one, but the next one. Yeah, I think this is it. Yes, we made it. Finally, we made it. We made it. They bound and determined to go that way. <laughs> like, they really just are. What are you doing, dude? Get out of the way. We don't need a garbage truck to respond. That's for later when we throw the stuff away. All right. Uh, there we go. Nice. Nice response. Okay, let's jump on the second piece. Let's get him here. Then we'll need some EMS, and I think that'll be it. That'll call it for this. Uh, no, we don't need that. Actually, let's hit F2, come back out. All right, let's take squad 28 second piece. Let's jump in our turnout gear. And... This is a cool piece of equipment. I really like this one, guys. It's pretty sharp. All right, so we need to remember to catch six. I just don't know six when I see it. I gotta pay more attention for that. I gotta pay attention to the map. I like that horn. That horn sounds really good, right? Is this six? This is six right here, right? It looks like it is. I think so. Yeah, it is. I didn't realize it was that close. All right, people, you got to get out of the ways. You got to get out of the ways. You got to get to those hazmats. Someone's done left the green stink cloud. We got to clean up the messes. Someone's done blown it up. Forty Second Street, yes. Okay, so that was actually really easy to get to. If I just knew the streets.
Oh, <laughs> it's like you don't like all this equipment out. It really just doesn't. It doesn't care for that at all. All right, I guess we'll do the decontent down here. Maybe right here. Okay, um, amulets. We need some amulets. We need at least one. So let's do that. Uh, no, I keep doing the wrong thing. We don't need that. We need EMS. Yes. Oh, it's all jacked up now. There we go. All right. Um, dredge. Yes, dredge. No, Fortis. Fortis is what we want. Fortis has the uh, all the lights working, so we'll take him. You're at Fortis. There we go. Nice. All right, let's go. Where are we at in relation to all this? Oh, we're way... We need to go down to 42nd. Yes, 42nd and then straight across through Broadway. Okay, nice. This should be a cool drive then. There we go. All right. All right, here's 42nd. We'll jump on it. <laughs> the postman changed his mind. He's like, nope. He's like, there's something going on down that way. We're not going that direction. There we go. Times Square. Very nice. Our traffic thinned out, though, for some reason. I don't know why. All right, uh, we still have civilian cars on my scene. That really just kind of pisses me off. I've worked really hard to get these guys cleared out and like, they just keep, <laughs> they just keep coming. Like, they're relentless. They really just are, they're relentless. They just keep, they just keep coming at us over and over again. I guess we should have, <laughs> we should have closed the FDR on top too. I wasn't even thinking about that. Yeah, no, supposedly this is fuel. Fuel or anthrax, I don't know. Fuel, I think it's fuel, flipped over fuel. Um, all right, what else, what else can we do? Let's, uh, let's get this guy in his turnout gear. I did not know. I played this game a hundred and some odd episodes and probably like five episodes ago, I discovered that you could actually put the uh, EMS in turnout gear. I did not know that, guys. All right, here we go. Let's uh, open that and let's grab stretcher. Just in case, we're being prepared, right? We're being prepared. All right, we'll drop you here. And what else we need to do? I feel like I'm missing something. What else was I going? I don't know if we're going to mess with battalion. I just not feeling it. I don't think we're going to mess with battalion. Let's, uh, let's pull that down and let's jump on back to uh, squad second piece. So let's pull it back up. All the way down to squad second piece. All right. All right, let's go back, turn out gear. There we go. All right, now we can pull that down because we no longer need it. And let's get our decontent set up. Whoa, 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 that was weird. What's going on? Okay. That's better. All right, we're good with that. Um, now we're going to need a water. Man, look at 31. Doesn't 31 look good? All this old school stuff. I'm digging it, man. I'm really digging it. Look at that. Uh, West Side 57 Warriors. I like the mud flap on that one. That's cool, too. Squad 28 there with the nice lights. Uh, yeah, let's hook up a water supply. We'll need that. Let's do... We'll just grab it from this. Yeah, we'll just grab it from over here. Uh, T.
All right, let's get our wrench. Yeah, it's getting laggy. It most definitely is like at its limit. I do believe it's a lot of stuff here. It's gonna get even worse. If we start pulling these uh, supply lines. All right, let's do that and let's grab a supply line or a relay line, I should say. All this stuff starts to add up after a bit. Why are you being such a pain? Come on, let's go. Yeah, it's definitely. Yeah. <laughs> It definitely doesn't like all this stuff here. Come on, go, go, go. Why are you be Dude, you need some cardio. You need some cardio big time. All right, all this response. We've had like, uh, it's taken me 47 minutes to get all this stuff here. 47 minutes. This stuff is added up big time. <laughs> it don't, I think it's the stretcher. The stretcher's what did it. The stretcher was the straw that broke the camel's back. <laughs> the game's like, oh, well, I'm done. He's done pulled the stretcher out. That's all I can take. All right, let's hop up there. Hopefully we have some water. We can go ahead and get this stuff. It's a lot of stuff, guys. I want to say, yes, we got water now. Let's wash. Yeah, there we go. Because I think this is probably one of the bigger responses we've ever had, honestly. And this is on Manhattan, too. So there's already a lot of stuff going on. All right, let's change into uh, let's change into our hazmat. I pull the menu back up. There we go, hazmats. Oh, put us in the tent. Okay. Think I need to uh, <laughs> either title this. This hazmat response almost killed my computer because <laughs> it's seriously bad. Y'all know, usually uh, Spur does all right with the game. Every once in a while, though, it gets... Uh... All right, are y'all ready? This is what we did. All this is for this right here. This moment right here. All this whole big, huge response is for this singular moment right here. Let's, uh, let's go take care of it. Pull it up. Uh, patch leak. Boop. There we go. <laughs> We're done. <laughs> we cleaned it up. Oh, man. I wish we had some, like, absorbent and uh, different things that you could put down to, like, like dispose of the barrels, you know, clean up the mess on the ground. There's so much more we could do with this that I really hope they kind of consider at some point. Hazmat's really cool, and it's one of those calls, unless you do a ginormous response like this, you uh, it doesn't it doesn't tax your computer too much right like you can totally get away with these and uh, you can do battery fires like there's so many there's so many different types of hazmat responses you could do it'd be really cool all right let's go rinse off oh even though i don't even think we have the green cloud of stink but all right let's uh Let's rinse off and we're going to call it because I've been at this almost an hour for this one response, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know, you know, some people, some people love to see the equipment and the response and the lights and the sirens and all that stuff. I totally get that. Other people like just AI it, you know, so I try to do a little bit, you know, every video, you know, I try to do a mix. Sometimes we drive the stuff, sometimes we AI it, it just varies, so. Anyway, that's going to do it for this one, guys. I hope y'all enjoyed. If you did, please be sure to hit that like, subscribe. Ring that bell, leave me a comment, let me know what you think. And uh, with all that said, we'll catch you on the streets of New York next time. Peace. Nice, so I guess they just hang out there and in case, you know what, let, I'm gonna sacrifice myself. Let's do it, let's take one for the team. I wanna see. Oh, we like, we immediately went down. Oh, there they are. There they are. Nice. See them? And they got us. They brought us back. Now that is cool. That is really cool. He brought me right back. Uh, but we don't have any help. So we got to see about that real fast. There we go. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. We're back at it with more Into the Flames gameplay. We're back on the Canton County Free Roam. We're on Station 2. Did have a viewer request to take Tanker 3 out, so that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be working out Station 2, see what kind of calls we can get. Just want to let you guys know Into the Flames is currently on sale on the Steam Workshop. It is 30% off right now, so you definitely 
want to take advantage of that. I think the uh, update is getting closer and closer to coming out, hopefully sooner than later. Uh, I don't have an exact date, but uh, I, I feel like it's probably going to be sooner than later. So definitely go check it out on the Steam Workshop. 30% off. I think you'll really enjoy it. So we're going to hang out here at Station 2. And uh, as usual, we'll see what kind of calls we can get. All right. So while we're here hanging out, I may just go ahead and uh, we may just force a call. Someone had left a comment. I'm almost certain someone left a comment a few days ago asking how we forced calls and did all that stuff. So what you'll do is you'll hit tab. It'll bring up uh, the menu. You'll go over here to emergencies. And this will tell you what your current call is. Now, we don't have anything right now. There's a couple different ways you can do this. You can just let them come at you uh, randomly, which is what they'll do. You'll just get random calls that you have to respond to. Or uh, you can go down here and you can force the dispatch call. So if you click on that, it'll bring up this menu. And uh, these are all the calls that you can take on the map. Now, the three numbers at the end of the address is going to be the box number. And the first digit of the box number is going to be relative to the station. So uh, this would be calls for station uh, 210 or uh, in the 210 area or in the station 2 area, I should say. So uh, this would be 210, 50 uh, Spicer Hill, uh, 222. Uh, 420 would be for station four, uh, 420, 420. So you got another 210, 222, uh, 315 would be for station three, 569 Atlantic Avenue would be, um, station five and, and so on and so forth. The only one that I haven't uh, seen on here, uh, is station seven. So I'm, I'm not sure. I guess seven would be maybe kind of six and five, but, uh, that's how that works out. So since we're in station two, we'll spawn one, uh, kind of relative to our area for station two. So let's see, what do we want to do? I want to do one that we haven't done before. And, I, and it's kind of hard to keep track of, honestly. Um, let's do, uh, let's do building three Nottingham farms. We may have done this one already. I think we've been in that general area. I'm just, I'm not certain on that. It's, it's really kind of hard to keep up with. Uh, let's look at our engine real quick before we go. You see we're not topped off on water. That's what I've been telling you guys uh, You have to be aware of that we're not topped off on water But I do think we have enough to get us by and we're gonna need tanker support anyway, so uh, We'll be bringing tanker 3 with us. Let's go ahead and hit the lights And the headlights and we should be good to go Let's roll out here for just a second hang tight Dude, <laughs> They're already pulling over they're pulling over. So we do have traffic. Yeah, okay, I see. It is over at the farm, but uh, it's going to be a different building, so that's good. All right, let's go ahead and get headed that way, right? Hope you guys are having a great week. It's been a good one here. It's been gorgeous here lately. I need to figure out which way. Do we need to turn? Yes, we do. We need to go this way. It's been a gorgeous week here so far, though I, I do think we have another chance of snow coming up within the next few days, uh, either tomorrow or Thursday or something like that. But uh, it's going to be like 86 today, 86 degrees, and then we're going to have snow. Maybe. I don't think it's going to snow. I think it's going to wind up raining, but just have to wait and see, right? All right, so let's hang this left, and then we make a right. Oh, it's a tight turn. It's definitely a tight turn. All right, so I had a few people ask about a manual Q siren. You don't, he, he's working on it. From what I understand, he's working on it. I, th I think they still have some more stuff to do. Oops, we're going the wrong way. They have some more stuff to do. This isn't really manual. Now, the other week when you started it, when you hit the seven key and you started it, it had to go through a cycle. So in other words, you had to let it go through the complete cycle before it would finish. Now they've got it where you can cut it off and on at any point. So uh, they're definitely, they're working on the sirens. I, I think they're, they may be, you know, going to be doing more with that um, at some point. So we'll just have to kind of hang out and uh, see what happens. I would love to see more done with the sirens. Absolutely. I would love to be able to see uh, what some users, you know, if, if it's... Uh, uh, if it's moddable, you know, if users had the ability to create their own mods for that, I think it would be really interesting to see what they could do. So anyway, we're here at the scene. Let's hop out by hitting E. And uh, once again, we don't have a hydrant. 
We don't have any kind of hydrant access. So uh, we're gonna have to jump in tanker three. Let's hit tab. Go to, uh, actually let's go to emergencies. Let's say that we're dispatched to this. There we go. And we'll establish command. Let's exit out of that. Now let's go to fire stations. Station two, there's tanker three. We'll take the big boy out. We'll take the big boy out, yes. Uh, let's get uh, lights and headlights. Uh, they use tankers like that where I live. Not quite the same. The tankers that they use around here, um, it's similar in that it's an 18 wheeler, but the tanks look almost like a chemical kind of trailer. If you know what I'm saying, if, if you kind of pick up on what I'm saying, they're not like this, but uh, I've seen them use those around here and I've seen them use uh, frack tanks too. They use a lot of frack tanks. So whatever they can get. get. And I've been posting a lot of pictures on the Discord here lately of uh, military trucks. We have like tons and tons of repurposed military trucks around here that they use as uh, fire trucks to like, uh, um, gosh, uh, what are they called? Uh, the M9, I think it's M978s maybe or something like that. Like they have several of those around here. Uh, just all kinds of different military equipment. It's really kind of cool to see because, uh, you know, one of the main things that we deal with out here or that the fire department deals with out here is brush fires. So they have to have uh, these uh, real kind of heavy-duty off-road um, trucks to be able to deal with that. So, all right, we're at the scene. I didn't even think to check the water. Yeah, this thing is almost empty. That It's like half full or half empty, however you want to look at it, right? So that's, uh, yeah, that's not good, but not much we can do about it now unless we want to get another tanker to uh, fill the tanker. So let's, um, let's hop out. Yeah, this is, you know, I don't see them using like the portable pond with this tanker. I think it would be too much. It would it'd be too much to kind of, to try to ferry this thing back and forth to fill it and refill it and fill it. So I feel like this tanker is like one that you would put on scene and then you would just kind of leave there maybe. But either way, we got it. We got a little water. Let's, uh, let's get our supply line here. And I think it's, no, it's on the other side. Other side, I do believe to hook up. There we go. And how do we want to do this? I thought about doing the deck gun, but damn, we're kind of, I think that would go through our water really, really fast. Now you see it's already topped us off. Yeah, it's already topped us off. Uh, just hooking up to that tanker, so. Uh, first, let's get our air pack. Let's do that. That's like a given. And we'll do a 360. We need to do that. We need to go check things out, so we're gonna do a 360. It looks like it's fully involved, like all the way around. We'll see here. Oh yeah. Yeah, front to back, top to bottom, it is definitely fully involved. This little, yeah, even this little area right here. So the whole barn is going up. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna do some more stuff with the AI, the AI menu, cause that's what it's all about. That's what the update's about. So let's go ahead and hit end key. And go to drone camera mode and then zoom out. Let's get situated here as far as how we want to approach this. Now, I do have the time locked on this. I went into the host menu and locked the time. Something a little bit different this time. Let's go ahead and hit uh, AI menu. Uh, what do we got? Uh, I think it's still pretty much the same. Uh, we can definitely we can upgrade the box. Uh, to a working alarm. We still got two units available. If we uh, upgrade it to a second alarm, we'd have four units, four AI units available. Had a few people ask about that as well. Um, we can do a search. I, th I guess it's always good to do a search just in case. I, I don't know. I don't know if they'd go to a scene like this and be like, eh, we don't have to worry about it. Because uh, no one should be there, but you never know. You never know for certain. There may be someone in there, so... Uh, Fire suppression. Let's put this guy right there because I'm worried about that tank. That thing will blow up. It'll catch on fire and it will blow up. All right, so I think that's good for now. Water's going to be an issue for this maybe. 
It could very well be. Uh, let's see. Do we have water close? We do have water close by. We do have water source close by. Uh, I love the drone camera mode. It kind of gives you a good chance to, to uh, look around. All right, you see our guys down there searching. He's uh, going through the animation like he's searching. So that just uh, basically depicts that he's doing his thing. He's doing what he's supposed to. Once again, disregard the uh, stuff that's popping up in the top left corner. That's just uh, debug info for the uh, uh, for testing purposes. So that won't be there. And they're working on it. I kind of just want to sit back and watch these guys do their thing. Now, we could put another one on there, but we're really... I'm, I'm worried about water. Water's an issue. We're okay. Now, our tanker's already empty. Yeah, our tanker's already empty. So, let's... Um, let's exit out. Let's get out of this. And I think... I guess we're going to have to go get some more water, guys. Like, I don't think we have a choice on the matter. We're going to have to get some... We'll just have to take Tanker 3 with us. Uh, let's get you disconnected. And let's put you right here. We'll hop in and go do it. Yeah, I think we're going to try to uh, draft from somewhere because I've done that. I actually did that. Now, I've, we tried it on a video and I didn't have any luck with it. But uh, off stream, off video, I actually got it to work. Uh, it seemed a little bit finicky to me, but... We'll try it and see. Let's get this bad boy turned around here. There we go. Yeah, I just found some pictures from the uh, local volunteer fire department doing tanker ops with a big 18 wheeler like it. Said they didn't show the uh, they didn't show the tractor. They only showed the trailer. So I was kind of curious to see um, what they were pulling it with. Like I think it was it it was like a private tractor trailer i don't even think it was like an official fire department vehicle i think it was purely private could very well be the case i know when they had the big uh, head-on train collision in panhandle they used a bunch of private uh tankers out there so could very well be the case all right let's park this guy uh let's park him right here i think it's about as good as any place we'll hop out Let's get a supply line, and we're going to try to get this to work. It was really finicky with me the other day. Let's see if it works. Yes, it is. It's working. So, uh, basically, you just go out in the water and hit E. And uh, you can see we're topped off already, so sweet. We could do that. I don't know if J would work on this. That's kind of interesting. I might have to test that out sometime. Pick it, can we pick it back up? It's not lit. There we go. All right. now, No, we don't. Can we pick it up? Come on. Maybe we need to pick it up with, uh, I don't know. I can't get it up. We have to take it with us. You know what? Let's get up in the cab. Let's see if we can hit J if that'll do anything. Uh, no, J will not do that. So it doesn't work the same way as the hydrants do. You can go up to a hydrant and hit J and it'll automatically, um, come on, pick up. All right. We got the tanker loaded up and ready to go. I never could get the, uh, I never could get that line picked up. It eventually just said uh, maximum hose length reached, and then uh, look at all the people watching, all the bystanders. They're all stopping to watch. Bunch of rubberneckers. Uh, it finally said maximum hose length, and it went away, but I tried everything I could to pick it up, like uh, E and, um, oh man, we're taking out the telephone pole. E and uh, left click, and I just, I couldn't get it up. I don't know. Like I said, it could very well be me. I always default to me first. If I can't get something to work in a game, I, it defaults to spur. And then uh, if, man, this thing just doesn't want to turn. And then if that's not the issue, if I'm not the issue, then you start looking at other things. But it could very well be me. Never know. All right, let's get back because they're probably totally out of water now. The fire's probably still raging. We should be good, though. This should be all that we need for this fire. I don't see us needing any, another, like, another uh, run for water. All right, let's stop here. Let's hop out. And let's pick it up with E. See, yeah, I picked that up, no problem. But I couldn't get the line out of the uh, out of the lake. We lucked out on that. We really did. We've lucked out on that. Now, I could the other day when I was testing it out, but it just seems really finicky for me. 
All right, so we're back. Our AI guys, they gave up on us because we ran out of water. So what we're going to have to do is go back to that. We'll hit end again. And now we're in drone. I don't know if you caught a glimpse of the drone down in the bottom left corner. So there's actual like a little drone uh, there when you do this. All right, let's, uh, let's go to AI menu. Fire suppression. And let's put these guys here. And let's exit back out of this for a second. We can move around. And we may hit it from the rear too. You gotta hit it from the back. Gotta hit it from the rear. There we go. Now we might have it. <laughs> I think we're gonna have it. This, this will do it. We'll see uh, how quick our water runs out. There's no telling. And I'm just gonna go around and be kind of like a boss a little bit here. I'm gonna be the uh, chief. In fact, you know what? Let's go to I. Let's hit I and... Oh, you can only do it at the fire station. I didn't know that. Okay, so you can't customize away from the fire station. You have to be at the fire station. Cool. All right. So they are in here. They are doing their thing. There's still... Yeah, there's still a lot of fire in there. And they don't seem to be having like... A great amount of luck. Like, they've definitely put a dent in it, but... Um, it doesn't seem like they're automatically guaranteed to just put it out quickly for you every time. Like, it may take them a minute. Or uh, you may have to stretch a hand line and get it yourself. Yeah, I think we are. Damn, we may need another run of water, honestly. I, I don't know, guys. Like, what do we look like on the... Yeah, we've still got a lot on the... All right. Um, let's see. How do we want to do this? Let's go back to end... And uh, let's see, we got zero units available. Let's remove one of these dudes. I don't know which one it's going to be, though. Which one? Okay, we picked right. We chose correctly. We chose wisely. Reminds me of uh, Indiana Jones and the uh, the Holy Grail. Um, let's get back out of this. And uh, let's get a hand line, and uh, we'll hit it ourselves. You grab an attack line with E, and we're going to go around to the back the seaside we'll hit it from there someone was asking on discord last night said spur how do you know to park the uh, tower ladder or ladder on the uh, the corner of the building I, I, I read that somewhere you know I pick up like it's <laughs> it's vital information for firefighters it's completely useless for me because I'm not a firefighter but I picked that up somewhere I, I think it was in some kind of uh FDNY uh, manual training manual or something online. It was a, it was like a PDF or something that I read. It, it went into a whole bunch of information. Like I kind of skimmed over it a little bit and saw that part. But uh, yeah, it's just little bits of uh, information that I pick up here and there. Like I said, I'm not a professional. I don't claim to know anything about this. Most everything I've learned is like what you guys have taught me. And what little bit I've read online. All right, we're we're definitely doing it now. We've got it. We got it for reals. We got it. Uh, let's see. What would be the best way? There we go. Maybe we can get it this way. Nice. That should be it, right? This should be it. Are we good? Yes, we are. Nottingham Farms is under control. Okay, let's drop you down here. Get your mask back off. We'll start putting our stuff away, and uh, we'll see about taking another call or two, maybe. Yeah, I have really, really enjoyed this update. I think it's very cool. I think it's nice that you can you can arrive on a scene, and you can start taking action without investing your own time. Like, you can let the AI guys start taking care of certain things for you, and... Uh, let them perform tasks while you go take care of water, or... Uh, you know, you could do a search. I mean, there's lots of different things you could do, you know, so it really it, it helps out a lot as far as like when you're uh, when you're single player, you know, what? let's take this guy back to the uh, we'll take him back to the station and uh, top it off at the hydrant. I think it's going to be important. So, yeah, I love the update. The traffic is really nice. 
Um, the the best thing to me out of all of it is that it just it runs so well on my system. Like I have zero issues, zero frustrations. Like it just it does what it's supposed to. So. Uh, I think uh, the dev, I talked to a dev the other night and he said, I think he said he was working on some more emergencies too. So that's definitely a big aspect of it for me. Because you can only, you know, you can go through the emergency so many times and then it starts to become still. And that's really with any kind of gameplay, you know, anything that's not really sandbox, eventually it's going to get, uh, it's going to get stale, right? Like you just, you're going to do all that you can do and you can't do nothing. Oh, they immediately go back to, <laughs> they immediately go back to uh, regular life when you cut the lights off. Oh, they're going crazy. Nice. <laughs> they really are. They don't know. Uh, what are these guys doing? Do they have a wreck? Come on, y'all go. There we go. Uh, AI traffic always cracks me up. It's really, it's, it's honestly, it's kind of entertaining. It's entertaining at times to see what these guys do. And I love it. You can roll or you can ram them. Like you can just knock them out of the way. We'll do that in just a second. We'll hit this guy with the tanker. Of course, you know, most time when you're playing legit, you're not going to do this. You're going to, you're going to do it right. But <laughs> just to show you that they do react, they do react to, uh, your equipment. Like if you hit them. Uh, we goofed that up. We should have gone in the other way, but you know what? It's alright. It's our station. We do what we want. Oh, we got a car with us. We took him with us. Oh, no. I wondered. I thought it drove kind of sluggish. We took him with us under the trailer. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> he drug him. Uh, he's like, I'd like to go now, please. <laughs> please, you let me out from under your truck, sir. Hey, let's hook you up. Uh, come on. Oh, there we go. Got a left click for that. Get the hydrant wrench. And let's turn you on. We'll get topped off really super fast. Nice. All right. We're already done. There you go. And in fact, you know what? Let's hop back in the cab and we'll do it the easy way on this by hitting oh it didn't disconnect us okay j all right uh, noted if you manually c connect uh j won't disconnect it for you like you manually have to do it yourself too so uh let's see yeah i may have goofed this up by doing that i don't know if it liked it or not let's go back to the cab yeah i may have done something i shouldn't have done uh, it doesn't seem to like what I did. It doesn't seem to have liked that at all. <laughs> we got two lines. Uh, let's see. What can we do to fix this? Uh, uh, yeah, I, I completely, completely goofed this up. Okay, there we go. We got that. Uh, yeah, we're in trouble, guys. We're in trouble here. I think we are. I think we goofed. Yeah, I think we goofed. I think we goofed by hitting J, by manually connecting and then hitting J. I don't think it liked that. Okay, what we're going to do... All right, I'll tell you what. What we'll do is we'll go to uh, stations and go to Tanker 3 and we're going to delete them. All right, let's go to, yeah, that's not gonna work either. Here we go, now let's try it. All right, we got rid of tanker three. I completely goofed that up by doing that. I should have never done that. And it looks like we still got a little bit of hose left over here too. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. Okay, we hit E, that made that disappear. Hopefully that, uh, that won't lead to bad things later. Yeah, okay, so what I did on that is uh, we rolled up, I manually hooked up the uh, the hose, and then uh, I tried to use J to uh, do like the AI disconnect, and uh, it didn't like that, so. Note sell, Spur, don't do that again. All right, let's go back to stations. Uh, station two, clown truck, uh, tanker three. There we go. All right, he's back. Uh, it looks like we just got another call. 
What do we get? Uh, building two, Nottingham Farms, dispatch. Man, they're having a bad day over there, right? Like, they really just are. All right, let's exit out. Let's go back to uh, fire stations and let's go to engine one. I hope we're topped off. Yes, we are topped off, so that's good at least. They're having power surges over here. That's what I'm going to say is happening. Power surges has done caught one barn on fire and it's uh, working on the other one now. There we go. Oh yeah, this will be easy. We'll knock this out real fast. Uh, go to equipment, uh, tools, and extinguisher. There we go. All right, if we right click to aim and then hit left click to uh, discharge, it should be good. All right, yes, we can interact now. So let's turn this off. There you go. Power's cut off. Uh, problem solved. We saved the barn. Nice. All right. So that one is under control as well. And I think when it puts it under control, it just it clears it off the uh, all this. Maybe not. Maybe not. We'll do it ourselves in. All right. There we go. Now we got to clear it off. We're good on that. Top back in the engine and we'll head back to the station. I keep forgetting to change our uh, status down there in the bottom left corner as well. Uh, also, other day, had a viewer give a good tip. I didn't notice this. Um, of course, it's not a good example now. Let's hop out and I'll show you. All right, if you see over your health bar, it says firefighter is your role, and then it has none and none. I don't know if you guys remember the other day, I, I couldn't figure out what kind of tool I had in my hand. Well, uh, if you look at that over there, it's going to tell you what you have. There you go. It says you have hydrant wrench. So that's really cool. I never noticed that before. I never paid attention to that. So good to know that. All right, now I think we're set. Get back to the station. All right, we're back in the station. Let's get the tanker. We'll pull him in as well. Always love it when you guys do the viewer requests. It helps a lot. It gives me ideas on uh, what to do and what you guys want to see. Someone had mentioned about the airport. Now, I tried the airport off, uh, off stream the other day and uh i couldn't get the call to spawn so i don't know like what the status of the airport map is right now if it if it's doing what it's supposed to or if, if it's being worked on or what but uh, we came in the wrong way doing that we did Backing up with a keyboard is not my cup of tea, guys. I can tell you that right now. You can get this guy in there. Now, I think... Yes, if we pull up to the door, you hit F. And it'll automatically raise it for you, though. So that's good. I'd wondered that, and I've had several people ask about that as well, so... Alright, let's get this guy back in there a little bit. Kind of hard to judge. I think we're okay there. I think that's all right. All right, let's kill the engine by hitting R. We'll hop out. And uh, I wanted to change to a chief's hat. So now we should be able to do that by hitting I. It's going to allow us to customize. We'll go into this more. I want to go into this more like in its own video, but just show you guys real fast a little bit as far as what we could do. Go to head customization. Uh, you can change your helmet style. There you go. Oh, look at there already. Uh, helmet primary color. We could do, let's do white. There we go. That's a good one right there. And then uh, you can change the uh, secondary color of your uh, uh, stripes on your helmet, your reflective stripes. You can do uh, the shield color. As you can see, you can do that. Uh, we could do red, maybe. I think red would be cool. Let's see, I know it's in there somewhere. There we go. We'll go with that. That's close enough. It's kind of red-orange, but good enough. Uh, you change your number colors. Uh, I mean, you can change your number and your number color. So there's a lot of stuff that you can do on this. 
to uh, to kind of customize it to whatever you want, which is really cool. Change your shield color, your change your number. Uh, I'm not sure. It looks like something else might be added later on. Go to back customization and uh, you can change your uh, bottle color. We do lots of different things with that. We go to uh, let's see who we got here. We got yellow. We'll go with yellow. And uh, let's see what else we got. Uh, back gear head gear. You can change your uh, your head. There you go. Got a few different ones. I don't know how many they have for that. It doesn't look like they have a whole lot, but uh, we got a few there we could do. And uh, you can change your outfit color as well, too. We won't mess with that right now. Anyway, let's go ahead and hop out and let's see what our last call is. What is this going to be? Box 310, uh, Camp Theodore Cabin 1. Where is that at? I don't even have a clue where that would be. Let's uh, let's go to the map and see here. Exit out you. Oh, yeah, I see. Uh, Closer to station three, but you know what? I think we'll just go on and respond as uh, station two because we're going to have to take the tanker anyway. So, all right, let's pull you down. And that's weird. The helmet almost looks kind of pink. I don't know if that was uh, like a true white that I picked. Let's look at it again real quick. It, the fire can burn for a bit. Yeah, I think it is. I think it's actually a pink I picked. All right, let's see. Uh, helmet, primary color. There we go. That is just a little bit of a light pink. Yeah, a lot of different colors you can do here. There we go. There we go. There we go. All right, let's go back. Uh, shield color. I think back to uh, back to that and the number color. We'll go to white. Looks good enough, right? Okay, let's exit out. So yeah, there's actually quite a few things you can do to kind of customize your. Uh, you're a firefighter and they have multiple styles of helmets too. So like I said, we'll get into a whole, like a whole separate video uh, on its own about that. And you guys can see what all you can do. All right. I think we're set. Get our headlights going. There we go. All right. Let's see. He's sitting there. He's got his wheels cut. He's like, I don't know what to do guys. <laughs> it's so true to life. People at intersections, when emergency vehicles go through, you know, they're sitting there thinking, do I pull over? Do I just stay here? Do I go through the intersection? Like, it's a way different scenario when someone's sitting in an intersection versus just, like, driving down the road. Like, they don't know what to do. I've seen it happen. I've definitely seen it happen before. All right. Uh, yeah, these people are going to lose their mind, too. Yep, yeah, they don't know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> they don't know what to do. There we go. All right, we should be here shortly. Like I said, we're right here at the other station, but uh, we would... Well, I think there is a tanker spawned at that station, so... I mean, I, really, you could spawn whatever you want in any station. You could clear it out. You could delete everything and then just spawn something new in if you wanted to. So, I mean, you can, you know, you can set it up any way you like, basically. A little bit fast there. Uh, what do we got? We do have a working fire for certain. Oh man, okay. It's a little like a little pavilion or whatever. I wonder if the actual buildings can catch on fire too. All right, let's go back to tab. Let's go to emergencies. Let's, uh, we should have done that, but we didn't. Let's establish command. Let's exit out of that. Exit out of you. And now we need to go on scene, responding. Let's see. On scene. There we go. All right, so we're here. We're good to go. Uh, we're gonna need the water though, so let's get tanker three. We'll bring him here. Okay, back to fire stations. Tanker three, select you. Oh, it didn't work because I'm not out of the equipment. You have to be out before you can get that to work. Try it again here. Fire stations, tanker three. There we go. Headlights, lights.
This guy is a beast to turn when uh, she's going too fast. Like, it is most definitely a beast. Oh, yes. We'll get you out of the way. Sorry. Right. We're getting them out of the way one way or the other. We'll change up the siren a little bit. Come on, guys. Y'all got to get out of the way. But yeah, they do have a few different uh, a few different sirens that you could go through on this. We got that. To me, that's more like a uh, maybe a European style or something. They may have those in the United States. I don't really know, to be honest. Uh, that one as well. Oh, shoot. We're taking out the telephone. Oh, kind of getting the telephone pole a little bit there. Uh, let's see what else we got. I like the cue. And I think that's it. Yeah. All right. We'll go back to this one. We'll go back to three. Three is my favorite out of all of them so far. And we need to change our, uh, there we go. Change that to responding. And this is where we need to turn. Camp Theodore. I don't think we've ever been in here before. Damn, I didn't top my water off. We connected to that hydrant and it never topped us off. Uh, that's not good. Yeah, that's not good. We connected up, but uh, for whatever reason, I probably goofed that up when I was messing with the hoses. All right, we're here. At least we got a little bit. We've got enough to get us by, I think. All right, let's go up here and we'll get... Supply line. Chiefs one manning it today. We're doing everything. We're doing all the things. All right, connect you up. Uh, we may bring the tanker from Station Three. Honestly, we might need that. It might be a good idea. We'll do that. All right, let's exit out of here. I didn't mean to do that. Uh, fire stations. Uh, three tanker two. There we go. Let's hit F. That'll raise that up. Headlights and lights. And let's see. Which way do we need to go back to the right? All right. Yeah, I definitely plan on doing a video where we'll just... Uh, we'll do a video probably where we look at all the different pieces of equipment and all the customization and then kind of take a look at the stations too i know some of you had asked about the stations um the different stations and what they look like inside stuff like that he has it looks like they've been adding detail to the interior of some of the stations i haven't looked at all of them but uh, definitely uh, station two is one of them it's had a lot of things added inside so that's pretty cool they making the uh they're making the stations look a little homier inside all right, we're going to keep that guy there just in case we may have enough water. We may not. I will try the deck gun because I don't think we've ever done the uh, the deck gun in any of the videos. There we go. Nice. All right. See, uh, see what kind of damage we can do with this thing and how quick we run out of water. Got to protect these exposures here. Kind of hard to gauge where uh, where your water's going. Like that's all right. We got that. I bet this thing goes through some water fast. Let's get this other side here. Get off the cabins. Uh, maybe it's it's so hard to gauge. It's like really hard to tell where it's going. More if I can change the view here. Nah, it doesn't look like. We can raise it up. Should raise it up a little bit here. That's cool. I think we got it off the building. Oh, we still got this back over here too. Let's try this. I think we got it. Nice. Yes, we did. All right. Uh, let's exit out. 
We still got a lot of water too, nice. Yeah, we really didn't put much of a dent in that, so that's cool. That's good. All right, let's go back to the command menu real fast. We'll do that. All right, let's hit end. See the drone, it just pops up for a split second. You can see it there. I I'm wondering like if you could see the drone in multiplayer. That would be cool. Um, AI menu, let's do that. Uh, fire suppression. There you go, we'll let these guys do something. And I don't, we don't really need to do anything else, I don't think. I think we're good on all this. Exit out of you. Hit that. All right, let's go boss these guys around. All right, y'all put the waters on the fires, guys. These guys put the water. We were like out in, uh, <laughs> we're in upper, uh, uh, upper New York State, maybe. Not really sure uh, where Canton County is supposed to be, honestly. Um, I think... Did they get it? Yes, they did. Uh, Camp Theodore Cabin 1 is under control. Nice. Got a little smoke here waiting to clear out. That was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed this. I, You know what? Let's do one more. Let's do one more. I, I keep saying, like, this is going to be the last one, guys, and then 10 later, I'm like, let's do another one. Uh, let's put you back. I just, I really want to give you guys a good idea of like what the gameplay is like as a whole. All right, so we've got all this stuff here. We didn't need it all. Um, I don't want to take the time to drive it back. So I think what we're going to do is just delete the tankers and then we can respawn them back. So we'll go back to that. Uh, we'll delete tanker two and uh, then we'll uh, delete tanker three as well. Let's see, it's going to be Station 2, Tanker 3, Remove Truck. Tanker 3, there we go. Um, let's hit Tab again. Uh, fire Station, Station 2, Spawn Truck, Tanker 3. It's kind of a roundabout way, I feel like, to do it, but uh, it, it helps Like if, if you're single player and you don't want to deal with all this stuff. Uh, let's get our deck gun back down, too. Let's hit J. Should lower it down. Nice, all right, that's set. Let's hop back off. And I think we're good. We're going to catch up back at station two, guys. I'll probably just delete this guy and then respawn and we'll just teleport back to it. Let's see, let's go fire stations two. Remove truck, engine one. And then let's go back, fire stations. Station two, spawn truck. Let's do uh, engine. Let's do engine two. I can't remember what that one looks like, honestly. All right, now let's teleport to it. Oh no! Uh, yeah, I forgot about that. That's bad. Yeah, it's definitely bad. You've got to move them. You had like if you spawn one, you have to move it before you can spawn another one. I totally forgot about that. That's not good. No bueno. All right, let's uh, go back to remove truck. <laughs> <laughs> they look oh no that looked bad that was really bad all right uh, let's get this guy out of the way let's get him out of the way we're not gonna worry about parking him in the bay we'll just put him somewhere out of the way oh we got another fire another random fire has come in let's see what do we got where is that even at Let's see, emergencies, uh, box 310, 25 Pine Road. Where's that one gonna be at? Before we start spawning in a bunch of stuff. Uh, that looks like the house fire we did not that long ago, right? I don't know, maybe not. Maybe that isn't the one we did. It's one of those two. I think it is because I remember going through the intersection. Yeah, we're not going to do that one. We're going to uh, we're going to clear that one out. It's in the current call. There we go. All right, it disappeared. Hit tab. Let's continue getting our equipment back here the right way. All right, let's go back to fire stations. Uh, station two. Spawn truck. Engine two. I want to look at that one. I don't think we've done much with it. 
And he should be sitting over there correctly now. There we go. Okay, yes, we're good to go on that. And he is topped off on water when he spawned in. We'll check the fuel, too. Uh, a little over half tank. Yeah, these are... Uh, this is a definitely a different style of engine I am not familiar with whatsoever. I don't know what this thing is. But uh, they got a little bit of the nose to them. Whatever they are. Oh, I didn't mean... I keep hitting J. I'm so used to hitting J for lights that <laughs> the Camaro is like, whoa. Like, what are you guys doing? Listen, I need you to get out of the way. Pretty nice engine, though. I like it. I dig it. Good. You do a lot of customization to these two. Like I said, that'll be another video. I still kind of got to work on that. Here we go. Let's do that. Kill the engine. Hop out. All right. We'll see about spawning another fire in real fast. Uh, let's see. Go to emergencies. Force dispatch call. What do we want? What do we want? What do we want? Uh, area of Pine Road, area of Rusty Road, 222. Uh, Cletus Road. I'm almost certain we've done Cletus Road. Had to do Cletus Road. Uh, what do we want to do? Oh, never mind. We've got a working fire. Let's see, where is that going to be at? Uh, yeah, I see. It's going to be up there by Station 4. You know what? We'll go ahead and grab that one because uh, we've never done that one before. So let's teleport up Station 4. This is how you would do it if you're one manning it. If you're doing, you know, the entire show yourself, this is how you would do it. Let's teleport station. And who do we want to take? I think we're going to take the brush truck. This is the one, honestly, I really kind of like to spawn this one out in the rural areas. Um your engine I, th I think it uh, it works out pretty nice for that all right let's go lights headlights oh uh, yeah there's the smoke so we most definitely have a working fire for certain uh, let's uh, go back to this dispatch when you exit out into the menu you lose control of the uh, <laughs> lose control of the truck so I would suggest if you're going to start messing around the other menus, you might want to pull off somewhere. All right, let's get down there before we do anything else. Let's hit uh, F1 to respond. And I don't know anything about this fire. Like, I really just don't. All right, y'all need to get out of the way, please. Y'all get... Uh, yeah, nice. This is going to be like some row houses or something like some uh, multiple dwellings here. And this one is most definitely fully involved. Like, <laughs> yeah, this is really going. All right, uh, let's kill the siren. Let's hit on scene. Uh, let's hit tab. Emergencies. Establish command. Exit out of you. And what else do we need to... Uh, I kind of think the tiller ladder, guys. I think we need to bring him. People like the tiller, so we'll bring him. We'll park this guy down here. And let's exit out so we can get the tiller. All right, let's go to fire stations. And uh, which one is it going to be? This one, okay. All right, lights and headlights. Nice. Okay, yeah, we're kind of oriented the way we need to be now. We'll just pull in behind the brush truck and set this guy up.
No, y'all need to move. Like, you really, really just need to move. Man, she is such a beast to turn. Uh, you know what? Then we'll just take some paint off your car. If you're not going to move for us, then you're just going to take some paint. And I don't know how this is going to go down right here. Because we need that spot. Like, we need that in a bad kind of way. <laughs> Y'all going to have to move. Y'all just going to have to go. Go. Move. Move. This is totally not legit. Oh, although, I'd be willing to bet they wish they could do this in real life. Alright, let's get uh, responding and then own scene. Let's kill that. <laughs> we done stacked the cars up. I told you to move. You know, if you're not going to move, then it's and so be it. So be it. It's just, it, it is what it is. Alright, let's do outriggers. There we go. All right, we're good with that. Operate ladder. Yeah, it is fully involved. It really just is. All right, let's go to the other uh, view here so I can kind of see what's going on. Makes it much easier than trying to judge these things from the turntable. Like, it is really, really tricky. down and let's go out a little bit further there we go all right let's change back to review and let's uh let's exit we've got him good to go what how did that happen i didn't do did i do that i mean i know i did that but did i do that i don't think i did I don't think I did. I think they're losing their mind over here on this one-way street. Uh, we need a water supply, guys. Like, that's going to be a big deal. I think there's some down here on the, uh, on the corner. Yep. All right. So, we need another engine. Let's get back out of this. Let's go back to tab, fire stations. Uh, what do we want to take? Uh, we'll take squad. Should be just down the street here. We'll park this one on the corner. We'll hook up to the hydrant and then we'll run a supply line to it. Yeah, the cars, the traffic is just really just like they're losing their mind. Okay, let's grab supply. We'll do it manual. There we go, get our hydrant wrench, do that as well. All right, should be good on that, yes. And we'll have to get a supply running down to uh, do the squad. Ooh, that's gonna be a long run. I forgot the brush is so far down there. Yes, I did, I completely forgot about that. That's all right, we'll let the rookies pack it back up. I don't know if we'll be able to get around this. <laughs> the cars are really <laughs> they're piled up everywhere and the firefighters like look at those crazy cars uh, grab supply line and uh, let's go all the way back down are the logistics of it right like water is a big deal you don't always have like a hydrant right there on the corner waiting on you so Run you down here and hook you up, and we should be set. Oops. Would you uh, connect? There we go. All right, so we should have water. Got water supply going, and um, we'll just start doing some of the AI stuff. <laughs> Look at the carnage. The cars just cracked me up. There's literally cars piled up everywhere. Uh, doors already breached. 
Yeah, I, I, I guess we'll just do a uh, fire suppression and primary search, maybe. Did we establish a command? I don't, I don't remember. Yes, we did. Okay, exit out of you. Get out of this, and let's go to end. See what it looks like. Uh, we could have access to the back. Yeah, we could. I mean, we could have done that. It could have been a thing. It looks like a little courtyard back here or something. All right. Well, anyway, let's uh, let's upgrade the box. I think we're going to do this as a second alarm. And let's do primary search. We'll do that. Let's do fire suppression back here. Let's put them on this corner right here. All right, we'll exit out of this and move to the front. Now we're getting sprayed down. It's all right. It's all right. All right, fire suppression, and we'll put this guy on the front here. And we honestly, we may do another one. I don't think, we don't really need anything else. We definitely don't need the vent. Uh, we don't need forcible entry. We don't need saw. Maybe Rit? I'm not sure because... You know what? Let's put them down just to see. Let's put them down just to see what they look like. Oh, nice. That's cool. Like, they, they're ready to go. What is, uh, what is Rit, guys? Uh, rapid intervention or team or something like that? I really, I don't know. I don't know. Let me know. But, uh, they look like they're ready to go. All right, let's uh, let's exit out of that. Nice. So I guess they just hang out there, and in case you know what, Let, I'm going to sacrifice myself. Let's do it. Let's take one for the team. I want to see. Oh, we like we immediately went down. Oh, there they are. There they are. Nice. See them, and they got us. They brought us back. Now that is cool. That is really cool. He brought me right back. Uh, but we don't have any help, so we got to see about that real fast. There we go. That was cool. So they rescued you. They took you out. Yeah, that was so cool seeing the dude in the flames there. I was like, damn, he was a grade A number one badass, right? <laughs> like standing there in the fire. All right, so that works. So we actually got to try that out. That's the first time I've ever done that, so that was cool. Uh, it looks like they're making headway on the fire. It does seem like they're making headway. Let's um let's go back to the the drone menu real quick, the drone mode. Uh, I want to mess around with this a little bit more here for a second. So the bottom floor looks close to being good. It's a little bit back there. Uh what else? I'm wondering Where's the stairway at? I don't see the stairs. It's kind of cool to be able to go through the fire and see exactly what's... Yeah, I don't know. I was going to see about putting one inside. I was going to see about spawning uh, some of the fire suppression inside, but I don't think we're going to do that. I think we're going to stick with what we got. Actually, you know what? Let's give it a try. Let's see what it does. I changed my mind. Uh, yeah, I don't think. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna work. See what it does. Uh, uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, what did it do? Oh, it has them in there. It's just kind of. Uh, I don't know if that's legit. Like, if I was supposed to do that or not. Well, we do have them in there. They're in there doing their things. They're not masked up though. I was just curious. I was curious if we could put them, if we could do that, how well that would work out. All right, let's go back outside. We may, uh, we may delete them and go in on our own. I think we're going to do that. 
I think so. All right, let's remove them. Uh, wrong one. Never mind. There we go. All right. Well, we wind up deleting all of them. But that's all right. We'll uh, we'll reposition them. All right, let's go back to AI. Our suppression. Let's put these guys on this corner here, and we'll exit out of that. I like the firefighting as like approaching it as a strategy mode too. I think that's kind of cool. I've never played a firefighting RTS, so I don't know that much about it, but the concept seems really cool. There we go. And this isn't exactly like this isn't exactly like an RTS. I'm, I don't think it's not meant to be that way. It's, I think it's more purely like helpers, but uh, it kind of plays that way a little bit. As it seems like to me. Um, yeah, our RIT team is still standing by. Let's uh, let's exit out of this, and we'll just stretch a handline on our own and do this. That was so cool that they went in and rescued us like that. I'd forgotten about that. All right, let's grab an attack line, and we'll mask up and go in. Chief's going to have to earn his paycheck today, right? Let's hit the lights. Uh, we need to find a stairway. I don't... Is there a stairway in here? Maybe right here. This may be it. Yes, it is. Bingo! We got it. Um, yeah, so they put the first floor out by themselves. Like, they totally did that. Damn, it looks like they got the second story, too. Like, they're really... Uh, nope. Never mind. They're doing good though. They're definitely they're putting a dent in this. Right, first person. That's a big fire. This place is really fully involved. We might, maybe we could have gotten away with another alarm. I don't know, it's me being like, not having any knowledge on it, it's hard for me to say what constitutes exactly a third alarm, you know? I mean, maybe not. It seems like second felt right for this. I don't think we'll be able to get that. We did. Maybe it may already be busted. There we go. Definitely made a difference. That is really cool. I like that. All right, so we got this. Come on. I know you want to bust. Do it. <laughs> Do it. It doesn't want to burst. It doesn't want to bust. Yeah, those aren't going to do it. Okay, let's uh, continue upstairs. Uh, there we go. Yeah, this is a nice fire. I like this. It's uh, it's a little bit involved, even with the helpers. With your AI helpers, there's still quite a bit to do. Nice. Got it. I got that one. That room's good to go. And that one, oh, we got a victim. Doggone it. Yeah, I just can't get those to uh, bust for some reason. I don't know why. I still hear fire, too. Like, I, I don't think we're done yet. I don't know. I don't think we can get, like, we can get up on the, um, on the roof. It doesn't look like it. I think there's fire on the roof, though. I think that's what we're hearing. I wish I could get those to go. There we go. Oh, it makes a world of difference, right? 
I don't know. I don't hear the fire now, so... I think that's good enough. We'll go check it in a second. Uh, homeboy's just going to have to lay there for a minute. He'll be all right. Let's open the front door up here. We'll get you and get that one too. Yeah, it does. It has an immediate effect. Just about. Oh, it's under control, so it is out. Okay, nice. Uh, yeah, that's cool. I thought we had fire on the roof, though. I kept hearing something, but I guess it wasn't. All right, let's uh, let's go back to third and let's drop this guy down. Yeah, the bottom's been dropped out on us. And come a turd floater. All right, let's hop up. I want to climb up there just to see, just to be sure. Climb ladder. And what does it look like? Actually, this squat down it looks a little bit more legit that way. Yeah, we're good up there. We're good. Nice. Nice. Not. Nice. Can we back down it though? Yeah, we can kind of back down it. I, I don't want to go down forwards. I mean, we could. We could, right? It just doesn't. <laughs> doesn't seem legit that way. Seems like a whole bunch of safety violations going down that way. But all right, let's hop down. I think we're going to call it here because we've done. Uh, we put out a fire and we created enough chaos. That's going to do it for this one, guys. I hope y'all enjoyed. <laughs> If you did, please be sure to hit that like, subscribe, ring that bell, leave me a comment, let me know what you think of the new update. Be sure to go check out Into the Flames on the Steam Workshop. Like I said, it's on sale 30% off right now. It will be on sale through April the 4th. I think that's what he said. Uh, love all you guys. Thank you so much for the support. And with all that said, we'll catch you in Canton County next time. Peace. What's up, everyone? It's time for another round of Emerge NYC. We're back out on the Brooklyn map, and we're going to be doing another Everyone Goes today. It's been a hot minute since we've done one of these. We already got a clap spawned in because those work really well with the Everyone Goes. Got engine 214, 234, 222, tower 111, ladder 123, battalion 37, rescue 2, and squad 252 all responding uh, so far. And we're pretty much going to bring everyone else on the... Uh, uh, map that's uh, like FDNY equipment, that kind of thing. So let's go ahead and get in our turnout gear and uh, we'll hop into 14 and get headed that way. There we go. Let's get uh, engine parking brake lights, all the things. Of course, the door clicks. It does it all the time. It's not an emerge episode without me clicking the door somehow. Like, I really feel like I could probably click on my second monitor off to the side here and the door would still come down. That's just the way it is. Like, it always does that. I don't know why. Really extra sensitive. It's a very sensitive door. All right. All right, let's go. Now, for those of you that aren't familiar with Everyone Goes, it's more about the lights and the sirens and the equipments and stuff like that. That's why we don't do the uh, fires. We don't do fires for Everyone Goes because what happens is the fire burns out by the time we get everything there. Uh, the fires aren't persistent enough. I don't think so. Generally, uh, we started out doing everyone goes with fires and it's just like every time we got like the last piece of equipment there The fire would burn out and there'd be nothing to do. So We went more to uh, building collapses are really good for everyone goes. So that's what we do now All right, we got this guy on scene. Let's park him right here and let's jump on the 111 truck Really fast to see Lada Lada 111. There we go Grab him. Yeah, that's a mess there. You see all that stuff piled up. There's going to be a person down in there somewhere. It's going to take us a minute to get him out. All right, let's go ahead. Get this guy going. Yeah, we did. Uh, everyone goes a lot. Like I said, I think uh, that's really where uh, they started getting popular on the channel. Started doing really well. And uh, we did a lot. And I feel like after a while, they kind of ran their course, right? Come on, school bus, get out of the way. Yeah, I feel like they kind of ran their course after a while, and uh, we kind of got away from them. So we still do them from time to time, but uh, not as much as we did in the past. All right, y'all get out of the way. stick with uh, some of the older equipment, some of the spares and things of that nature. 
Uh, what else we got showing up on this? Uh, it's going to be two, three, four, and uh, the triple deuce. Yes, triple deuce. I remembered it this time. I, I keep forgetting that. People all the time like Spurs, triple deuce. It's not two, two, two. It's like blasphemy. You can't, <laughs> you can't refer to engine two, two, two. Is uh, two, two, two. It's triple deuce. So, all right, let's get. Uh, I forgot. It's two, three, four, right? Yeah, two, three, four spares who we're bringing. So we'll get him. Do that nice nice i love the older stuff man i'm telling you i would be in heaven if we had like a 70s or 80s bronx map or a map that would kind of span those uh you know those two decades i think that would be really cool i'd love it i'd be all about it keep saying that in hopes that maybe one day we'll see that all right let's uh ease out of here let's see how are we going to go to this Yes, back to the left and then immediate right. Yeah, I think it's where. Ooh, she's zoomed in a lot, man. I can't hardly tell what's going on. There we go. There we go. That's a little better. No, no, don't pull it. You should have just stayed where you're at, dude. You're good. These AIs, you know how they are. You know how they are. All right, let's put this guy right here. Yeah, this is good. We'll get ladder one, two, three now. Grab him. Uh, where you at? One, two, three, spare. Nice, yes. Get him. Like I said, we'll bring the battalion chiefs. We'll do this. We may bring, yeah, of course, we're gonna have to bring an ambulance because we're gonna have a victim, so. We'll do that too. All right, let's get all this going. All right, I, I, yeah, we're gonna go kind of the same way, but I want to position this guy a little differently. A little bit differently. All right, back around this way. There we go. Yeah, I think we're gonna go down. We're gonna go down by R2. Man, they always want to go that way when they clear. I don't know why. All right, back this way. Come on, guys. Y'all gotta go. Use the bike lane. Yeah, we'll go. We'll swing the block and come back up. All right, y'all need to clear. Come on, you need to go. Let's go to first person so we can get rid of him. There we go. Nice trick. I wish I knew that a long time ago. It works pretty good. If you want to get rid of uh, AI traffic, just go to first person. All right. I think this would be a good spot right here for this guy. There we go. All right. Who else we got? Who else is next? Uh, triple deuce. Yes. Let's get on triple deuce. We'll bring him. There we go. So anyway, I've been thinking for Emerge NYC, we may not be doing as much uh, in the next, uh, I don't know, time period. I don't know how long that will be. I'll be very honest. I'm, I'm kind of surprised and not surprised that the new update hasn't come out yet. I don't know what the status is on that or what's going on. I really, I guess I kind of thought it would have been out by now, but uh, you know, I, I really kind of feel like Emerge has kind of run its course on the channel for the time being. Uh, we'll still do one, maybe one a week, maybe one every other week, something like that. I don't know. I have to see. I've been thinking about it a good bit, but, uh, you know, it just starts feeling like we're rolling up to the same fires, the same stuff all the time. So, I don't know. We'll see. Oh, dude, why did you do that? Why are we trading paint, man? Come on. That wasn't necessary at all. Oh, I love 222. I love the triple deuce. It's a nice one, right? Old school. take this guy oh yeah we're back down here okay yeah let's swing the block we'll get a little bit more uh action with this one 
Come on, if the camera view will rotate any time now, I'd appreciate it. Okay, we'll come around this way. Should be good. All right, Corvette. Corvettes are the worst. They hardly ever want to clear out your way. Should be good here. All right, who's next? Uh, we've got two fourteen, two three, four two two two, tower one eleven, uh, ladder one two three, battalion three seven, rescue two, and the squad. You're yeah, going to bring squad first and second piece because it may be a hazmat situation. You know, with the building collapse, you never know. So let's bring uh, rescue two. Let's hop on him. Get some train horn action here, maybe. I know everyone loves a train horn on rescue two. You know, I don't think they use it that much. I think probably people would be, <laughs> it would be complaining if they were blasting that thing all the time. They're loud. I'm telling you guys right now, as someone that did that for a while, you know, especially like, uh, we were still, you know, in the early 2000s when I did it, we were still running a lot of like uh, older engines and lease engines and so, so we still had a lot of equipment with a horn like right on top of your head and Man, they were so loud. Some of them were so incredibly loud. It just... All right, let's go get the manual cue because I know everyone wants to hear that too. You can't take Rescue 2 out without the manual cue. I think back this way, maybe. Come on, get out of the way. Is Corvette always on this corner. Why are you doing it, dude? There we go. Unfortunately, I don't think we're going to be able to squeeze by these guys. I was wanting to pull them up to the scene a little bit further, but we'll see. I don't think we're going to be able to get by the ladder. He's taking up all the room. Yep. I think he is. We'll see. Let's try to squeeze through. We may scrape these cars a little bit, but it didn't happen if you don't see it. I didn't see it happen, so it didn't happen. All right, let's take this guy up here. Right here should be good enough. I think that's a good spot. All right, so let's go back to that view. See what our scene looks like. Ah, pretty nice. Pretty nice looking scene. It's shaping up really good. All right. Uh, who else we got? Squad, yes, we gotta get squad 252. Another one of my favorites. Alright, let's do all the things, and looks like we got a little bit of a drive with squad, so that's good. Some more manual cue action as well, too. I think how I want to come into this one, maybe down this way. I'm not sure how we uh, launched off the map in relation to the scene, so. I think we're gonna go down to Bergen Street and back up, maybe. Baby, I hope this, uh, I hope I don't regret this. I think it's gonna be all right. And then back. You know, I think on down, actually. On down, and we'll come in on Atlantic the other way. Do that. Hey, why are you stopping in intersection, bro? You gotta move, dude. Are for the course, you guys that are real life firefighters. I sure y'all probably see a lot of craziness as far as like how drivers act when they, oh, we still came in the same way. This is not how I wanted to come in, but you know what? We'll squee, we'll scooch by them again, too. Let's go this way so we can see a little better. Uh, yeah, I think we cleared them okay. I think we're all right. 
Let's go. Uh, let's go right here. I think it's be good. Sweet. All right, let's get squad two five two second piece. All right, this little piece of equipment right here is definitely one of my favorites. It's so different. I wish we could do more with it. You know, we, we hardly ever get to take this one out. We hardly ever get to take it out. I'll tell you guys right now, I think what would really help break the monotony of Emerge for me right now is just some new fires. Like, we need some new fires, even if they're like car fires or manhole a better manhole fire a more persistent manhole fire something like that you know like i just feel like um we need something to kind of change it up break it up a little bit you know it's all about the new fires keeping the content fresh and uh interesting and, and having uh, more stuff to do so that's the way I look at it, but you know, it's uh, it's a lot of time and effort to do that as well, too, so. Uh, how do we want to go this one? Maybe back this way. I can imagine on the radio, they're giving out instructions like where they want people to go. You know, they're like orchestrating things. We probably wound up going in the same way. No, we came in differently. Okay, sweet. Yeah, this is good. This is good right here. I like this. Uh, I think this would be good right here. Man, she's just getting a little laggy. I don't know why. I, this hasn't updated for me. So, you know, it hasn't updated in a while. So, I don't know what's uh, changed. It has to be something with my computer, probably. Let's see. Uh, Battalion 37. Let's get... Uh, actually, no. Let's get Engine 227. Let's bring him. Now, as far as alarms, we're not doing like any particular kind of alarm. It's not a second or a third or anything. It's just bringing everything on the map. And a few other pieces, actually. We're bringing everything on the map and a few other pieces. Okay, let's get this guy rolling. Let's see which way can we go with him. Think back to the right. Oh, nice. We got some manual cue action on this one as well, too. All right, let's go. Oh, stop, dude. Stop, stop, stop. Uh, Herkimer Street. Should we do Herkimer? Yeah, that's one way. I don't want to fight with that traffic. Let's go on down. Going down to Fulton Street. We'll see about going this way, maybe. Come on, y'all get out of the way. Y'all get out of the way. Good drive on this one. I like it. I like the drives. All right, let's see. We'll make a left. Yeah, another good one. This isn't bad. This isn't bad at all. Okay, let's keep them in this lane so we keep it open. All right, who else we got on the list here? Let's see. Let's go this way. We've got 227, 252, 252, Rescue 2, Battalion 3. I guess Battalion 37. I think that's going to be about it. Battalion 37, we'll bring him. We'll bring Chief O'Connell and 38, and we got uh, the 176. Okay, yeah, we got 176 to bring as well, too. We'll get him in a second. Hey, Chief O'Connell flying today. <laughs> I forgot how fast this thing is. Got a little get up and go for sure, man. Let's see. Yeah, this is a good one. Okay, yeah, we're coming in just the way I wanted to. Be good right here. Man, it would be a pain to get all this stuff out of here. I'd imagine once they get everyone all bunched up together and then they have all the lines and stuff like that and then they got to pack up and leave. It's, it's probably like a puzzle, like deconstructing a puzzle or something, trying to get everyone out. All right. Uh, who else do we have? Who else? We got uh, 176. Let's bring him. 
All right, 10 house truck. Let's go. This is another one we hardly ever take out. We don't do much with him. So you guys can enjoy the sirens and stuff. Oh, come on, dude. No, 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 no. Don't be doing that. You just insisting on going, huh? All right, let's keep going. Let's carry on. Uh, how are we coming into this one? Y'all go. You got to clear. I know we're wrong way, but that's all right. different this is all right yeah we can go with this oh yeah this is gonna be a hot mess we have to get all this stuff out of here for sure all right what else do we have uh, i think we're kind of coming down to the uh end of the response right uh battalion 38 i think battalion yeah battalion 38 we got everyone else yeah battalion 38 gonna be the last one chief o'connell's brother let's get him out there Just go around this way, I think. Yeah. And we'll take him and I think park him maybe on the corner here. Yeah, it's getting really crowded. <laughs> we got a lot of stuff here. There's still even more. I think the biggest response I've had in game ever was the three alarm. The three alarm. Like, we had everything. Just tons and tons of stuff on the map for a big fire. All right. So we're on a scene. Let's go to rescue two. Let's just do rescue two. See if we can locate this victim and get him out of there. Luckily, he's not on some kind of timer or anything like that. So he's okay. He's not going anywhere. Okay, let's do turnout gear, and we're probably going to need a cribbing bag. I do think we need to find that, though. No, it's not. All right. Uh, let's check this guy. Let's see if we can get it off here. There we go. We can get it off the ladder. Luckily, we can. Yeah, all right. We'll get the cribbing bag. Let's go over here to the scene, see if we can locate the guy. He's under there somewhere. I can tell you that now. He's under there somewhere. I just don't know where. All right, let's drop you right here. Let's get our concrete drill. And let's start looking. What do we have? What does it look like? All right, all right, people, stand back. Y'all need to stand back or either start helping one of the two. Yeah, it's... Be careful. This could be unstable, right? We hurt ourselves or uh, them. My, yeah, I was going to say my gut tells me he's going to be, yeah, there he is. I see his hand. He's going to hit me. <laughs> hit, hit me, yeah. And the, the biggest part of it is where he's at right here. Yeah, this is going to take a minute to get him out. For sure. Uh, yeah, I guess we start, uh, we start drilling, guys. Like, we start doing the thing <laughs> and then rocks go crazy. Dude's gonna be like mincemeat by the time we get down there to him. All right, well, I'll uh, I'll be back with you guys in about an hour or so, probably. All right, so we've located the victim. I think we're gonna kind of be able to get to him now. Let's go ahead and get a C collar on him. Let's see what he looks like. Yeah, he's gonna be all jacked up. He's gonna have a head injury. Uh, we'll get that taken care of. We'll put a C collar on that. Uh, he's got uh, spinal injury. He's got two broke arms and a broke leg. So, yeah, we'll see about all that in a second. 
Uh, let's get out of that. And I think what we need to do is get a Stokes basket. We'll get a Stokes basket. We'll load them up on that because it will give them a, at least a little bit of protection while we try to drag them out of here. We won't have to worry about banging them around into things. So let's do that. Let's take our drill over here and we'll drop it down. Well, where's our cribbing bag? Yeah, we have to put it back in a cribbing bag. We can't actually drop it. Put him there. And now we need to find a Stokes basket. Be able to get one off the engine here. And we need an amulets as well, too. All right, let's get that. All right, let's see if we can load him up and uh, carry him out of here. Can we move him out a little bit? Ah, he's pretty wedged in there. Yeah, we can kind of pull on his head a little bit, but I don't think that's exactly what we need to do. We don't need to be pulling on his head and neck. All right, let's just load him up this way. Go to treatments, uh, Stokes basket, and there we go. There we go. He's loaded up. He's good. So now we need the ambulance. Let's go ahead and drive it too. We've driven everything else. We may as well bring the ambulance too. Can't leave those guys out. Let's go new units, uh, EMS. Uh, Fortis, we'll bring him, and we should be good. Man, that was an involved rescue. I'm telling you guys. I'm telling you guys right now. It's already getting dark. We've been doing it for a while. All right, join and go to this. Do all the things. Oh, sweet. At least it's just going to be like around the corner here. Literally. There we go. Nice. Okay. Yeah, I'll go for this. Uh, and fairly close to it, too. So, yeah, that actually worked out really good. All right, let's hop out. And I think what we're going to do first is grab some screenshots and then I'll catch up with you guys in just a second. We'll get this guy loaded up and take him to the hospital. He's got to wait just a second, though. we got things to do. There we go. All right, we got our screenshots. Let's grab the stretcher. We can take him to the hospital now. He's Like I said, he's not going anywhere. He'll be all right. He'll be all right. He's going to stay right there. So let's roll this over there. We'll get the uh, soaps basket out of there and load him up on the stretcher. We need to start an IV. We need to do some things like that. Actually, like, assess the patient. Splint all those fractures. Do all the things. All right, I think this is going to be good right here. Let's drop it here. And lower it. And let's change our gear. You know, I played this game forever before I realized that you could wear, like, turnout gear as EMS. Literally, I played it for probably months and months, months and months and never knew that. Never even thought about it, honestly. All right. Uh, how can we get this guy out of there without dropping him on his head? This is probably not going to be good, but we'll see. All right. All right, bro, just hang tight. Put you right over here just a little bit. There we go. Baby steps. Baby steps. We almost got them. All right. Let's pass them down to myself here. Uh, let's grab you up like that. And then we should be able to... Yeah, sweet. That worked out. All right. Let's move him over here by the stretcher. I think maybe right there. Yeah, we can't rotate them around. At least if we can't, I don't know how to do it, so... All right, let's get over here to him and let's see about uh, treating him a little bit more. Let's go to H. Let's split all these fractures. Uh, let's yeah, let's do that. Split that one. Oh, we're gonna split. There we go. Split that one. Let's start an IV. All right, let's look at his stats here and see how he is doing. As will be Royal Mac. Macaside, I guess that's how you pronounce his name. I can't quite make it out. Uh, yeah, he looks pretty good, honestly, for just having a building fall on him and having uh, three broke limbs and a hurt neck, a brain injury, and a spinal injury. He's actually doing really good. His temp's 98, his pulse is 61, pretty strong. Blood pressure's uh, 108 over 18. That's not legit at all. That says 16 over 16. Yeah, I don't know. 110 over 20. Yeah, his blood pressure isn't actually that great. I don't know what's going on with that. 110 over 20, that's weird. Okay, so 110 over 20. 
Uh, he's basically been crushed, so let's give him some morphine for pain, and I think that's basically all we can do. We've done all the other things, right? Like, we could put him on a, uh, a monitor. All right, let's see about getting him on a monitor the old school way. Let's go to treatments and vitals monitor. There we go. Hey, let's give us a little better idea. His uh, heart rate is 50 beats per minute. His O2 is 80%. He's got eight respirations per minute, and he's 115 over 76. That's better. That looks a lot better to me. That's not bad, honestly. That's pretty dang good. Like, even for a healthy person, that's pretty good, <laughs> considering what he's been through. Uh, his respirations are a little low. We'd like to get those higher, but uh, he doesn't seem to be having any difficulty breathing, so I I'm going to assume he doesn't have any punctured lungs or uh, anything, broke ribs, anything like that. So let's get him on oxygen, though. That might help a little bit. Let's do that. All right, let's see what this does for him here. We got his stats again. Uh, still the same. It did not. His O2 came up, though, to 99%, so that's really good. His respirations haven't, so... Um, what else could we do? Yeah, I don't really want to intubate him. I don't think we need to intubate him, honestly. Like, I think that's overkill, so... Uh, let's close out of this. Get out of that, too. And let's go back and see if we can give him, uh, rescue rest. Yeah, that might help. That might help. There you go. All right, you can see it on there. Uh, no, it went down, actually. Yeah, we may wind up having to intubate this guy. But his O2 stats are really good, so I think we're just going to go with this for now. Yeah, I think we're going to go for this. Let's, uh... Go ahead and get him loaded up on the stretcher and we'll get him out of here i think we've done pretty much everything we can let's see stretcher what can we do move patient there we go all right and let's grab this raise it up grab it and we'll load him up and call it a day not too bad not bad it was a little uh a little uh i'm involved trying to dig through all that stuff to get him out but we did it luckily we can edit that out and skip through it but uh not too bad mainly about bringing all the equipment right like all the lights and sirens it looks really good like that is a pretty badass looking scene i have to admit i like that all right let's get him on here there we go shut the doors we'll get him uh to the hospital here anyway guys that's gonna do it for this one i hope y'all enjoyed if you did please be sure to hit that like subscribe ring that bell leave me a comment love hearing from you if uh, if anything just say hello and uh with all that said we'll catch you on the streets of brooklyn next time peace what's up guys welcome back to the channel we're back with more emerge nyc gameplay and today we're back on the brooklyn map we're doing another viewer request this time for uh tower ladder 120 on the brooklyn map so that's what we're going to be doing we've got them stationed at uh ladder uh the ladder one two three and uh, engine two three four their station so i don't know of a reason why they would be there but that's where they're at so we're just going to run some calls out of here and uh we'll go ahead and see about uh what we can get all right guys just got our first call it's going to be for a fire in a body shop it is a uh, working fire is 1075 so uh, we're gonna have our uh full complement going uh to the scene four engines and three ladders i don't think the fourth engine's on the way yet but uh we'll see about that shortly anyway let's go ahead and hop in 120 and we'll head that way anyway i hope you guys are having a great wednesday uh snowpocalypse is upon us in the state of texas right now it, it has finally arrived it's snowing so uh, hopefully it won't be too much but we'll have to wait and see here we go all right we're rolling now i told one of our users he said we need more air horn action so absolutely we'll get in a ton of uh air horn action here I think the biggest thing about doing all this is the fact that I'm having to like do the horn and the sirens and everything with my left hand on the keyboard and then try to steer it. Try to steer everything with, oh, whoa, nice, two, 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 wow. You know what, I can do that too, dude. Man, he came out of nowhere. All right, uh, where are we gonna go? Oh man, it's definitely, yeah, it's fully involved. It's going. She's going. All right, let's, um, 
Let's park here. We'll get her positioned here, and uh, we'll start getting in some tower ladder action. Some tower ladder. Back her up just a hair. Get the turntable on the corner. Nice. There we go. All right, we're here. We're on the scene, and we're going to start putting some fires out. Let's hop out real fast, and we'll get our truck set up. Anyway, thank you guys for joining. I really do appreciate it, man. It's just, y'all are just absolutely the best community. I, I can't say that enough. It really, it boggles my mind how, um, how the channel is done. And, uh, you know, people watching how the channel is growing and stuff like that. And, and it boggles my mind that we have, like, several, like, multiple firefighters um, that are viewers that they basically they do this for a job and then they watch me do this too which is like so incredibly like I don't know what to say I think that's like one of the biggest compliments ever uh, that they do that and then they want to watch this and I really do appreciate it it's, it's, it's absolutely awesome like I said I, I, I really I have no words for it Anyway, with that said, let's get started putting our uh, let's get started putting our fire out. We'll get uh, a supply started with 214, and uh, I think what we'll do is we'll relay to 120, and then we'll use him to put water on the fire. It's been a minute since uh, since we've been in Brooklyn, right? Done a lot in Manhattan, though. I will say I have really enjoyed Manhattan here lately. Like that's. Uh, it's been a lot of fun. I haven't played it that much, but I've enjoyed it. Uh, the gameplay we've had lately, and man, oh, what is this? Bo what? Two, three, four. <laughs> Go have to. I don't even know. I, I don't even know. I, <laughs> we won't even go there. Let's just ignore that. Let's uh, let's keep setting up over here. I, I was thinking for a split second, I thought, you know what? Let's role play that out. But I'm not. We're not. <laughs> we're not doing anything with that. We're just gonna let it be. Sometimes, uh, sometimes you never know what you're going to see in game. I mean, that's uh, true. But it keeps it interesting. I will say that. You know, I always try to find the positive in everything, and <laughs> it definitely it keeps it interesting in game. You never know what you're seeing. I mean, we basically uh, a while back had uh, you know two fire trucks humping each other so on the scene. So I mean, you you never know what you're going to see. All right, uh, Brady, I think everything is set up. Hopefully 120 works. I don't know if I've ever, uh, yeah, nice, okay. All right, let's do all the things here. Got this light post right here in the way, though. But one of those considerations you don't think about. You don't, you don't think about this stuff. Now, I had several people talk about uh, fire equipment placement, and there's, like, some basics to it, but... Uh, it's like I said, there's a lot of variables. There's a lot that goes in behind this apart from just being like, well, this truck should park here every time and this one should do this and, you know, all that stuff. So, which I figured there was a lot more to it than just uh, being cut and dry. All right, so there we go. Getting our water going here. We'll let her do her thing. Uh, we're going to try to hit this roof a little bit, probably. All right, let's go out and with this roof up and we should be pretty close to getting this under control. This shouldn't be too terribly bad. It's starting to spread. You can see it spreading on the roof though. Yeah, damn, we're going to have to do some air up here. Um, I think we're kind of getting it. At least it looks like. I can't hardly tell because of the smoke. Like, I don't know. We're just... Kind of spraying blindly here. Uh, we may have to grab an attack line. We may have to. Alright, uh, ignore this. We're going to hop down off the truck. And hopefully it's going to keep doing its thing while we do that. Uh, no, it won't. Uh, they used to do that. I know I've been on uh, units that have done that. That like when you leave it, they keep spraying, and it's not not doing its thing. Uh, okay. Well, either way, 
Either way, the fire is spreading throughout. Just about. It's it's probably about like what a third to half involved, so not too terribly bad. Go back to 214, we'll get an attack line. Alright, we'll get you pulled down here and get some extra. I just, I can't pre-pull anymore, guys. It's like every time I try to pre-pull line off the truck, it, it bugs out and it looks like spaghetti. It's going everywhere. So we just pull it by hand. It's just easier for me to like do it this way and not go through all the headache and the bugs and stuff. So we're still waiting on a new update, the AI update. Um, you know, I'm fine with it being delayed and taking longer than they anticipated because, uh, you know, I would rather it be rock solid, airtight, waterproof, bug free, whatever the case may be. Um, you know, instead of them rushing to release something and then having a bunch of issues, cause they don't need that. They don't need that right now. They need to, uh, they need to release a solid update. And you know, if it takes a minute, it takes a minute. I'm not, I'm not going to sweat it. I got plenty of other things to do. Uh, other games to play. I've been playing Car Mechanic Simulator, the demo. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna pull the trigger on that one. I really enjoyed uh, what little bit I played on it. It was a lot of fun, and uh, the demo is just enough to kind of get your feet wet and uh, leave you wanting more. So, I think I'm gonna do that. All right, Brady. Brady's doing it. He's on the truck, but he's uh, doing the hand line today. He's doing it all. Oh man, someone's RV's on uh, on fire too. Oh, it is spraying water. Oh, it's only spraying when I. Okay, I see what's going on now. That's uh, that's interesting. I've never seen that before. When I do the hand line, it does the aerial as well. The uh, the tower ladder. It used to could be that. You could be in a tower ladder on a ladder. Maybe it still works on ladders. I'm not sure, but you could be on a ladder, one of the aerials, and you could spray water. And if you hopped up off the truck while you were spraying water, it would just keep doing its thing. And so you could still be uh, putting water on the fire uh, and not have anyone up there. You know, you could do other things. But uh, I I don't know if that's broke or uh, or why. It's been a while since I've done it the correct way, but I know I've done that before. All right, let's keep getting the <laughs> we're synchronized with the uh, with the tower ladder. That's funny. I'm going to have to investigate that a little bit. Now, someone did chime in and, t and say that uh, ladder 75, the default ladder 75 on the Manhattan map is broke. Because if you remember on the last uh, was it the last video I was doing, we couldn't get we couldn't get any water off of it. We couldn't do any kind of anything with water. So supposedly it's broke. The spare works. And uh, tiller ladder 175 on this map works, but uh, regular 75 does not work. It, it is broke. Hopefully that'll be fixed at some point. All right, guys, I think we're good. I think we've done it. Uh, looks like the roof might be all right. Okay, let's uh, let's drop this down right here. And I think what we're going to do is jump on one, two, three. And uh, oh, we'll go take a peek at the roof real fast. Oh, well, damn, we got that tree right there. These are things you don't think about. Like, I could imagine setting up ladder, like doing aerial operations in New York City is probably such a huge pain in the ass sometimes because the narrow streets and uh, cars parked and trees and power lines and like everything under the sun is like trying to prevent you from doing your job. I did see uh, a video. It's been a while back from the Magisterium. He had one where uh, the tower ladder was actually brushing some power lines. It was, it was quite interesting to see the sparks and the stuff going on. All right, let's uh, let's get you up here and I think we're good. Okay, there we go. Sweet. Let's hop down. We'll grab a pike and just take it up there with us and uh, we'll take a peek and we should be able to call it. We should be good here. Still have lots of people asking about the Discord, guys. I, I'm going to try my best to get that done. I can't say when. I There's been like a few evenings where I had all intentions of sitting down and getting Discord back active and 
doing a video and like announcing it and all that and i got away from the computer and like i never got i never got sat back down uh before i went to bed so uh hopefully sooner than later but i can't say for certain when all right uh it's good up here yeah there's a lot of roof damage but uh we're good all right so uh, we're going to call this one clear and uh we'll head back to the station and see if we can grab another call All right, guys, we're back on uh, ladder 120 and uh, we're responding to a water leak. Yes, a water leak. It always uh, blows my mind that the uh, New York Fire Department responds to water leaks. Like, I, I purely thought that was like a plumber problem, but uh, evidently not. They go to uh, they go to water leaks and there's actual like video evidence of it on uh, on YouTube. Like the first time I played this game and I saw the water leak calls, I was like, what? Are you kidding me? No, no. So of course I had to go consult Google, or not Google, YouTube. I had to consult YouTube to see if this is true. And there are water leak calls on YouTube. So that's what we're doing. Something really different. I haven't done a water leak in a long time. So I don't know why 120 would be down here doing it. But it is nighttime, so that's cool. Nighttime is the right time, especially for flashing lights. So that is what we're doing. We're the only one responding. And it should be like right up here somewhere. All right, let's see. What do we have? Uh, it's gonna be, I think it's gonna be in this building somewhere. In fact, I want to say I hear it. Okay, we don't have access down here. The doors are locked. Those people are asleep. There's like, there's no leak down here, buddy. Go look somewhere else. Uh, no access there. I hear it. I hear the water, but... Uh, and the, one of the videos I saw, the water leak, like the FDNY had specialized pumps and stuff like that as well that uh, they were using like uh, one of the leaks I saw the basement was flooded for ah oh, there it is yes someone's uh, pipes are done busted in fact Spur had to go outside and cut the sprinkler system off uh, yesterday and uh, we're having to drip all our faucets in the house because it's going to get down in the negatives tonight hopefully it may be is it may be zero it may be zero it could be a little lower than that it could be like negative four all right well uh, we got that one taken care of good job Mr. Brady. So I think what we'll do is we'll hop in and we'll get one more really quick little call on 120. All right, we're just leaving off our water call and we just got uh, called for a car accident. So we're going to head to that. Or uh, I should say a car fire, actually, not an accident, but a car fire. So we're going to head to that and uh, see what we can do. I don't think much of anything on uh, car fires and stuff like that other than maybe like traffic control and protection and stuff, but uh, let's see, it should be right up here. There it is, oh, she's going, yeah, that's a good one, nice. All right, um, we'll block off a little bit. We'll do that. We want 234 to uh, have room to get by, too. All right, let's jump on 234. We'll bring him. We have to have a little engine action as well, too. All right, 234, ready to go. Nice. Man, it looks good. It looks so good at, uh, at nighttime with the lights. I just, I really dig the lights on this game. I think it's one of the things that they absolutely got right. Looks amazing. Uh, where do we need to go? Looks like uh, down, over, and down, maybe? Crap, I tabbed out. There we go. You can hardly see. Um, okay, I think I'm straight now. We'll go this way. All right, now I'm good. And we'll hang this left. No, stop. 
Stop, dude, stop, stop this traffic. <laughs> They're so bad. And I think we go down one and then back to the right, maybe. I hope so. Where is a firefighter that does not know his uh, area that well? Uh, yeah, okay. Now we need a hydrant. We need a hydrant, and I think we're going to have to grab one up here by the uh, tower ladder. I see that one, but that's it. That's all I've got, so... All right, we'll grab it. It'll be fine. All right, Mr. Williams, let's do our thing. Have a wrench here. Get our supply line. And get our hydrant on. Sweet. All right, let's drop that and we'll get an attack. We'll pull you down the street and we should be good to go. Come on, you can do it. Pull. Get our lights going here. There we go. Man, those things are bright. Keep going, keep going. Is that the moon down there? If that's the, wow, that thing is huge. <laughs> it looks like a planet. That moon is huge. I've never noticed that. Looks like, uh, it looks like something from another world, maybe. Oh man, we gotta, I wonder if this can spread through the van. That would be cool if it would spread to uh, the other vehicles. We need, we need more spreading fires. We need that uh, pressure to like protect exposures and stuff like that, you know? Because uh, right now, you don't really have to worry about it. There's a few fires that can spread, but for the most part, they all pretty much stay in their uh, their little area of operation, so. All right, let's get that going. Lines charged. Kneel down, and let's hit it. A little first-person action here, maybe. We don't do that very often. There's just something so incredibly satisfying about putting water on a fire. I've, I've always loved it. We used to have big, uh, when I lived, when I was a kid, we lived on a farm, right? I grew up on a farm. We used to do uh, burns uh, on some of our fields and stuff like that, uh, you know, to uh, control weeds and things of that nature and uh, uh, control burns basically. And so for the most part, uh, we just did a fire break and let it do its thing right. But uh, we would have certain areas that we would protect with water, like garden hoses and stuff like that. And I was always the garden hose guy, and I loved it. <laughs> I absolutely loved it. I was like chomping at the bit to start putting the fire out, even though it wasn't really ever doing anything. Because usually we would do it like late at night on a, a really calm, still night, you know, uh, high humidity. So you didn't have anything to worry about. Like it wasn't going to do nothing. And <laughs> but I was always chomping at the bit put water on the fire all right I think I think we've about got it put a little bit more water on it just for good measure but oh what was that about just kick me out uh well okay we get a nice overview of the scene here guys there you go Looking pretty nice there. Look at the lights. They just look so good. All right, let's jump back on our uh, on our engine and try this again. I don't know why it booted me. It just booted me off. Um, and I'm holding on to the line as well. We have, I think we lost our nozzle. We did. Yes, we did. All right, well, the fire's out anyway, so I'm going to call this good. It's just got some steam coming off of it. Thank you all for watching. I really do appreciate each and every one. You guys are awesome. Love all of you. If you're new to the channel, please be sure to hit that like, subscribe, ring that bell, leave me a comment, let me know what you think, keep the viewer comp, you know, viewer request uh, coming. I absolutely love those. Those have given me so many good ideas and uh, I'll be honest, if it hadn't have been for the viewer request, I probably wouldn't be doing as much Emerge NYC as I have been because uh, you know, after a while it tends to get a little, sto a little stale and old and stuff like that. So anyway, thank you all. And with that said, we'll catch you on the streets of Brooklyn next time. Peace.
What's up everyone, Spur here, and we're back at it with more Into the Flames gameplay and one exciting time for Into the Flames as they have officially released over on Steam. They've moved on from beta, so that is awesome. And on top of that, they've made a ton of posts about, uh, well, they've done a ton of updates, uh, patches and uh, improvements to the game. And on top of that, they've made several posts about future plans and things like that that they're wanting to do. So. Definitely want to congratulate uh, Fully Involved Game Studios as far as their hard work and everything they've done to make this happen. Uh, it's a really awesome time in firefighting simulation, and I'm looking forward to uh, seeing what they can do. So, with that said, we're back on the Heights map. We've jumped back over here. We took a little break. We went to Canton County. Now, we're back on the Heights. Um, we're going to do a quick fire today. Uh, Spur, you remember, uh, I know some of you guys that watch the channel regularly had all his windows replaced in his house uh, a few weeks back well they replaced all of them but one they showed up at the house and said we're here with your windows except one because the factory shorted them a window so they showed up today to finish that last window those guys had to drive two hours just to put it in one window but they got the window put in and it's kind of thrown my entire day off so uh it's probably going to be a quick quick one today guys also i think i'm just going to do a full video about uh you know, we're kind of going to kind of uh, break down all the changes and the things coming up for uh, Into the Flames too. So I'll probably be a separate video where we talk about that. Anyway, our fire for today is going to be an automated fire alarm. 11 6th Street, Box 310, uh, Dispatch. We'll go ahead and assign ourselves to that call. We've got another one down at 10 Port Boulevard. We're not going to worry about it. Uh, someone else can get it or it can burn down. Either way, we're not going to bother with it. Uh, let's hop in the command vehicle because I never take it out. We took the tanker out and replaced it with the command vehicle. Let's hit L for flashing lights, H for our headlights. And we'll scooch on out of here. We'll hit three for our siren and we'll go to this address and see what it looks like. Sometimes it might be a fire. Sometimes it might not be anything. So we're going to investigate and see what's going on over here up under the elevated train. These people are all in the way. There we go. Kind of a narrow street there. All right, what do we got? Yeah, we got uh, smoke and where there's smokes, there's fires. Yes, we got some fires in there. Let's hit three and kill that. We don't need all that mess. Uh, what does it look like? Bottom floor, fully involved looks to be. And we've got a blue top hydrant. I've noticed that's changed. Uh, for those of you that aren't familiar with the game uh, on the Canton County map, you've got different levels of hydrants, right? You got the blue tops, which are the best out of all the hydrants. They're like the best of the best of the best. Uh, red tops will be the worst. They're the crappy hydrants. And then yellow is kind of the in between. So uh, it looks like maybe he's added that to this uh, map. I don't know if they're all blue, if they're all good water or uh, if you've got a mixture. Uh, who knows? They may have a uh, good water service here in the city, you know, whereas in Canton County, it's kind of hit and miss. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and see about grabbing an engine. Let's go station 4B and grab engine 3. We'll do all the things. We're going to hit F to open up the door from the cab. We can do that. And we're going to roll on out of here. We'll hit 7 for the Q. And let's talk about the queue for a second. I get a lot of questions about the queue. It's probably one of the most asked things because like the the queue is king of sirens, right? Uh, I, I get people asking a lot of times like, can the, can the player control like how much you wind it up? Like, you know, what it does. No, you cannot. It's pretty much hard coded where you, oh, we just scraped his paint off. It'll be all right. We call the insurance company. Um, it's just on or off, right? There is no, you know, winding it up or letting off of it or anything like that. It's either you cut it on or you cut it off. Uh, maybe that'll change one day, you know? I mean, they're doing uh, all our other fires literally like right over here. Worse than this one. <laughs> it's worse than this one. We picked the wrong fire. Uh, maybe that'll change with the amount of updates that they're doing just all the time. Uh, it could very well. Jeez, that's a big fire, right? Like, that thing is huge. You know, I just act like that's not even there. We don't have time for that. All right, let's set our water up. Let's do front intake. Uh, let's go over here to the hydrants. Uh, let's get our hydrant wrench and get it turned on. Get our water going. Go tools, hydrant wrench. 
And we'll hit E, get him good. So yeah, it's charged. We got water going in. Now let's go back to the pump. I love the pumping features. It's one of my favorite parts of the game. The logistics in the setup. All right, uh, tank fill. That's what we're going to do. Tank fill all the way. And we're going to have 700 coming in. So that's pretty good. We're not going to bother with uh, tank to pump. We won't need that. Uh, like I said, it's highly situational as far as how you use that. Let's get the uh, tower ladder over here. Go fire stations uh, for a tower ladder too. We'll get the big daddy over there. Hit all that. So let's hit F to open the door. And we'll get rolling. This thing is a beast. It is huge. I could not imagine like driving this thing like in real life down the city streets. <laughs> it's got to be a handful, right? We'll hit the siren. We'll swing this left. Try not to take out these parked cars. At least the road's kind of semi-clear now for us. All right. Make this right. And we'll park right out front. Why is this car in front of the house? Was that parked there before? Or was that, is that new? Like, uh, actually, no. Let's back it up. Let's put him on this corner right here. I just think it's a little better angle for us right there. All right, let's hop out and let's go ahead and get the outriggers going. So we're going to go to the back of it. We're going to hit E to use bucket. Left click outriggers and we'll let those do their thing. Get our air tank. Go gear, air pack. And let's go tools, uh, forcible entry and let's grab a hook too. All right, so uh, we'll do a quick 360. We probably should have done that as soon as we got here on scene, but we got a lot to do. All right, so it looks like a, uh, a two-story residence with a fire on the first floor. Uh, I don't see any power or gas hookups to have to worry about. Sometimes you have those, sometimes not. Yeah, it looks pretty cut and dry, right? Uh, all right, a risk for this scene. What do we got? Uh, definitely got a risk of it spreading to this adjoining building right here. This building next door. Uh, I would say our next risk is going to be in the back here to these, like, I don't know if these are garages or sheds or what. Something on the alley here. And then the least of our worries is going to be this right here because we got a good amount of space between those two. So that is our thing. Let's open up this back door and see if we can work our way in. Do a little bit of a search. All right, doors open, fully involved, so we can't even get in that way. Uh, next thing that we want to do before we go any further, we want to uh, hit tab, go to emergencies. Let's go to establish command, and we're going to upgrade the alarm. I think we're going to make this a third. I, I think a third would be pretty good for this. Come on, own up second. And a third. We're good with that. Exit out of you. And now let's hit end and we're going to go to command mode with the drone. And before Spur kills himself, we're going to put down Rit. Firefighter rescue is your get out of jail free card. You always want these guys down. So we'll select that and we're going to plop them down right here. There we go. And I think primary search too. We'll let these guys do their thing too. All right, there we go. Exit command mode, exit out of you. For those of you that are new to the game, the, the AI, they're basically pawns. They're basically representing that that action is uh, happening. That's why they're standing in place. They're not bugged or anything like that. This is just what they do. They let you know that there's a firefighter on scene uh, searching through the house right now doing his thing. So while he does that, we're going to get this front door real quick. Get our mask going just in case. And let's open this. All right, it's locked as well, so we need to force it. All right, so yeah, fully involved downstairs. All right, let's get... Um, You know what? Let's close it back. Let's. I'm having flashbacks. I'm having flashbacks. If we can close it back, I don't know if we're going to be able to. We're being burned, though. Yeah, I can't get it to close. Let's just do this. Let's get a ladder. Let's get this 14 foot ladder and let's hit R to swap between our tool slots. If you look at the bottom left corner, you see a roll of firefighter and it says 14 foot and forcible entry. If you hit R, it swaps back and forth between the two. <coughs> All 
All right, let's get our ladder, and I think what we're going to do is drop it right there. Nice. All right, we still got our forcible entry. Let's get a hook, though. I want to have a hook just in case. We're going to go upstairs and search that second floor. It could very well flash on us. We've got some open doors. I can't get them to close back, so we'll just have to kind of... We'll have to roll with it, right? Like, we'll just roll with the punches. Uh, what do we got? We can't get it with a hook. Let's swap to forcible entry. Let's break the window. And we should be able to vault right through. There we go. Uh, got a little fire peeking up through the floor here. It shouldn't get us. At least I hope not. Can we open this? Yes, we got that. And let's see if we can get this door. This door is locked. So what we need to do is force it. I'm ready to get out of here fast. Like, we need to do this quick because this second floor could go up on us. Uh, looks like, yeah, it looks vacant. It doesn't look like there's anything going on in here. No furniture, no nothing. All right, let's get out of here really fast. There we go. Successful search, right? Like, that was okay. That wasn't too bad. All right, come on. Oh, but we're almost falling off the porch. Don't do that, Spur. Come on. We're doing good for a change. We're actually doing really good here. All right. Um, what do we want to do next? I think uh, we need to establish a hand line. We need to, you know, I kind of want to put a saw team on the roof. I think so. I kind of want to put a saw team on the roof. Let's hit J to drop the Halligan here, and we're going to swap to the hook. Drop him there as well. Okay, yeah, I like dropping this stuff on the ground. I just like having, like, tools and equipment laying everywhere. Just, I don't know. This is my preference for whatever reason. Uh, let's go operate ladder. Now, in order to do a saw team, we don't have to do this, but I, I want it to at least appear like they have access to the roof, right? And who knows? They may not even need a saw team in this situation uh, since the second floor isn't going, but we're going to do it. Like I said, Spur doesn't know anything about it. We just play the game and have fun. Uh, let's put this guy out and let's go down. There we go. That should be good. I can't really tell. All right, let's hit R. And let's crouch down to make it look at least a little bit more legit. Let's see if we can go down backwards here. There we go. And now we can go down the ladder. So, yeah, we'll do a saw team real quick. We'll drop an AI saw team. We could go up there and do it ourselves if we wanted to, really. But I think while they do that, that's going to give us a chance to get our hand line set up. And let's hit uh, in to go back to our drone again. And let's see. Go AI menu and saw team. Put that guy down there. All right, let's exit out of all this. Let's go get our hand line. Uh, did our fire die down over there? Maybe, maybe not. Yeah, it's still going pretty good. City has descended into chaos. It always happens. It never fails. Right, let's go connections. Let's do... Oh, another fire is coming in. No, <laughs> we don't need another one. Uh, let's do discharge one combination. Be good. You could do a smooth bore or foam tip or even a hose splitter, but there's not much use for a hose, a hose splitter on single player. So we'll just go with what we got here. Uh, we'll put you right here. Let's go back to the pump panel and uh let's see discharge one we're gonna go 130 we gotta have a minimum of 130 it's 130 to 180 is what we need so we're gonna do 140 should be good i'm kind of thinking we need to run a line down to the tower ladder just in case let's do that let's have him hooked up and ready to go just in case we need him We'll take this line down here. As it going to the second floor, I'm really kind of surprised. I've seen it go downhill really fast. All right, pump panel uh, connections to driver intake. There we go. Let's get him charged up. All right, let's see, pump panel. Uh, discharge five. We need to send at least for the uh, for the deluge. We need a hundred, so we'll do two forty. Two eighty is good enough. And we'll grab this line. 
And we should be set. We should be good to go on this. I think we are. We can't make much of an entry though. It's pretty bad in there. Like it's just completely involved. You know what? Let's uh, grab our Halligan. And let's knock these windows out. There we go. Our alarm's going, but we got to get access to it. We don't have access to it right now. All right, we'll hit it with a little water, get it knocked down. Should be a pretty quick knock on this, even though we've kind of messed around a little bit, taking our time. Get over here. Uh, I think we actually just got it. Yeah, I think we completely. All right, let's shut that off. Check back here. Uh, that's good. And we'll double check upstairs. Get these windows knocked out so we can vent a little bit here. There we go. Uh, yeah, it looks good to me, actually. I think we're going to be able to call this one good. Like I said, it's going to be kind of a quick video, guys. Hopefully, we'll be able to catch up more tomorrow. I'll do a breakdown on all the new stuff for the game. We'll talk about it, look at some of the new stuff. Um, yeah, let's call this one good. Let's call this one good. Let's drop this right here. Get the mask. I think we're going to have to put a fan in there real quick. Do that. Uh, it's going to be towards the bottom. Yeah, there's our fan. We'll try to clear this smoke out and uh, then we should be good. All right, let's see what that does. There we go. Smoke's cleared. Nice. I love that little feature. That's so cool. And it should auto under control. Nice. Uh, 11 6th Street is under control. All right, guys. That's going to do it for this one. I hope y'all enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Love all you guys. Like I said, we'll try to do a breakdown video about the new stuff. If I can, I'll drop it today. Probably not. It'll probably be tomorrow, but we'll see. Uh, welcome to all the new subscribers. Uh, looking forward to getting to know you guys and uh, getting some content out for you. And with all that said, we'll catch you in the heights next time. Peace. No, big cat. No. <laughs> oh, no. No, no, no. Kitty.